danced very well in that movie. I saw it last Thanks. night. Thanks. Thank You're, you very much. Now, did you know how to do the thriller dance before? Did you have to learn the I whole mean, choreography? I remembered. We all watched the thriller dance, so it's pretty easy to remember. But yeah, we had a couple of serious rehearsal days. My co-star, Mark Ruffalo, bless his heart. He was, I was a ballet dancer growing up, so I was used to learning choreography, yep. and I learned choreography all the time, fighting. But Mark, he had a rough time. I had to give him some pep talks. <laughs> but he was good. Oh, he was great. Oh, he did, I think he did a little extra credit. Uh -huh. Like, I think he was at home with his wife and his son kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> and you could see him counting out loud, you know, and you could see him, <laughs> and he, like, he would be like, one and two, and up, and up, and <laughs> rawr. <laughs> Uh, now I got to see it again. Well, yeah, of course. He's so good. He's adorable anyway. Oh, I like him in everything that he every does. Every single thing. But y'all are really good together. You're, uh, you're fantastic, and everybody's talking about you being the new big movie star. It's it bound to happen. You're, and I know you're exhausted because you know when these movies come out, you must be going like crazy. Well, the fun thing for me is that the movie is this much, you know, we're, we're shooting the finale of Alias, so we worked all night last night. Now, right after this, I'm going to shoot the last night of the third season. It's a big, great fight. It's so, it's so fun. So it kind of keeps everything in balance. Nothing feels too heady or crazy. Keeps everything in balance? It, it, it sounds like everything is just <laughs> <a> huge. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you don't get too overexcited about the movie. You don't, you know what I mean? Right. No, no, nothing's in balance. No, yeah. I just go to work, but yeah. Because that's you, fine. We'll leave that for another. Now, what leave is that for Oprah? For instance, you said you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so you, you say you work yesterday. Like, what kind of hours do you work on Alias? Do you really want to know this? Um, I. No, leave it for Oprah. All okay, right. No, <laughs> It's just like, it's just, it sounds, it sounds bad. But I, I got up and worked out yesterday um, and kind of um, uh, in the afternoon. And then I worked from 5 o'clock at night until 7 o'clock this morning. Wait a minute, you and worked out and you did that? Well, because I had a fight to do last night, so I had to be warm. Uh -huh. Or else... I know, I know, believe I don't me. know how, I mean, I'm complaining that I don't have time to work out and I come and sit down for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and you're, you're, now, what, well, we'll leave that for Dr. Phil. All right, so. <laughs> I don't know what to ask you. All right. <laughs> so, but let's, let's talk about the movie because I really do like it. It has oh, a good. good message and, uh, and it's you're. It's fun, isn't it? Yes, yeah, it's, it's it really good. Just, happy and it makes you realize that that certain decisions you make are very important as, as right you're always you're always making decisions no matter how small they seem to kind of figure out who you're going to be you're mm -hmm. always evolving and it's never too late to fix anything right especially if you have fairy dust yes i was going to say especially <laughs> if you have fairy dust which uh you know it, it really is it's a it's a beautiful little movie Do we, it's, it's romantic don't you think oh it's very romantic yeah, yeah. it's yeah. And, and like I said, you're, you're great in it, and Mark's great in it. Everybody is. Thank Everybody's you. really good. And that scene, the thriller dance scene uh, <laughs> towards the end of the movie is great. Oh, good. Really good. Thank you. All right, so um, now this is, this is you <laughs> at, at 13, right? Yes. Are you 13 here? Uh, I might be a little older, but that's representative of the entire. Okay. <laughs> Tim Meadows was on yesterday, and he, he played saxophone also. Um, so, it's a fine instrument. Oh, look what you end up doing. If you play saxophone, yes. you end up in the business. <laughs> yeah. um, this is the way everyone gets in, mm -hmm, saxophone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, sax will get you everywhere. And uh, <laughs> a phone. Right. Um, so, all right, so were you cool? Or? Yes. Um, was I cool? <laughs> no, no, I was not cool, Ellen. I was a, I was a disaster. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> I was a band geek. Um, I was such a band geek that I started the pep band because I felt bad for the basketball players and I uh -huh. was like, let's get in there and give them hang on Sloopy, you know? Uh -huh. um, but I was a happy nerd. Like the bands, the band geeks hung out together so we, mm -hmm. were, we weren't stressed about the fact that we were, you know, outcasts. And did you, did, well, did you date or did you... Uh, um, eventually, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, when I was about 16 or 17, it took a while. Uh huh. It took a while to get that ball rolling. Uh huh. So but. now, because what's the situation where you were going to uh, uh, your first party and you were trying to fix oh. your hair? When I was uh, 
12-ish, I went to my first boy-girl birthday party. It was Amy Fredrickson's birthday party. And I was so excited because this guy that I had a crush on was going to be there. And I used to sleep in sponge rollers, the pink sponge rollers. But I didn't have time, you know, it was the middle of the day, so I thought, I know, I'll wash my hair and dry it and then set it in sponge rollers and sit under the dryer just to make sure it's extra special good. When, when I took myself out of the dryer after three hours with like a tomato red face and I took them down, half were straight and half were curly, <laughs> but like curly, like, you know, <laughs> it was... It didn't occur to me. I didn't know how to fix it. I just went, you know, I just uh, went to the party. Oh, that's oh, horrible. Oh, it was so sad. I just think about that myself that day. What a and you went to the party anyway with your hair straight affairs. and then curly? Straight and curly. Just oh. kind of like, Hi. Uh, you know. We played spin the bottle. Oh, Nobody no. Nobody wanted to kiss me. That's terrible. Uh. Well, we'll leave that for Queer Eye. But um, <laughs> <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> Extraordinarily talented Jennifer Garner. You, you're, you really, you're so talented, and everybody is just talking about how you're going to be the next huge big thing, the next big movie star, you, and you are. I tell you that right now. Um, so, and um, all right, now on Alias, uh, this you you hadn't even seen this. You were looking no, at this during this the commercials. Is... Um, these dolls are so rare. We had to get it from the guy who makes them. They don't. It, they are so hard to find. Isn't um, that bizarre? This is you to see yourself as a doll. And Michael Vartan, your your co-star, and uh, you know him, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, is your boyfriend. People know, I guess. Do y'all have a wheel like this at home that you spin to try to decide? Because we, we can do learn. actually. Yeah. Okay. Curtsy. We. I curtsy a lot. Uh, so now you're doing. This is. I'm just impressed with you. You just. You're. you're uh, so you do all these accents too when you play this. This languages and accents. Yeah. Yes. Now yeah. what? What else do you speak? What other languages? Uh, gosh, we've done. I only remember a few of them, like Japanese. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's hear it. Well, how dare you? Really good. Thank you. What did you just yeah. say? Say it again. I said uh, or Cantonese. Logang, logang, no hayo hak, no you I need to hay lo go, no hen cho de fun. I don't know what you could be saying anything. That yeah, I was. Well, I was actually. What I was did just you say? saying, I'll speak, I'll speak, I'm a tourist, I'm going into the tourist building. I, I was wrong or something like that. And you I knew at one point. You uh, you learn this and it comes that the, and you hold on to it? You actually No, I so drill it into my head that three years later I can sit here and spit it out. Wow. <laughs> How do you say no sweet and sour? Mm, no sweet and sour, please. <laughs> very good. Yeah, very good. All right. So, and you're you're going to work from here. And uh, where do you shoot, Alias? Tonight we're in Chatsworth. Mm-hmm. But where do you? Woo! <laughs> Chatsworth. We shoot at the Disney at the Disney lot right next door. You should come by. I would. Now, and also, uh, that's a great lot. So, I, how do you get around there? What do you do? You you walk all around there, or? Oh, my pink bike. Yeah, I, that's... I have a. A pink bike that J.J. Uh, Abrams, who created Alias, gave me two years ago for my birthday, and I ride it. <laughs> I ride it everywhere. I ride it in wigs, in dresses, in skirts. Like I'll just hike my skirt up and just get on that bike, and and it has two bells, and a basket, and you have like streamers and stuff. I don't. But I have been looking. I, I need to get some streamers. It needs streamers. But it has yeah. a license plate from West Virginia. That That's says, where you're from? Yes. Yeah. Well, you don't need streamers. I like streamers. Well, you don't need them because we got them for you. We stole your bike and we have it right here. <laughs> And a new bell. That's right. Sometimes, like at five in the morning, I'm the first one on the Disney lot, and as the crew members start to come in, I've already, you know, I've already been up. I've had coffee, and I ride around the lot and go, "Good morning." <laughs> and, the, and the crew of the the Pirates of the Caribbean a year ago or so, they were like, "Seriously, kiddo, we're gonna steal that bike from you <laughs> if you ring that bell one more time." Oh, it's great that oh, you ride this around. You. So we got Look your little streamers, these. and if there's anything else you want, you let us know, and we'll get it for you. Oh. All right. to 13 going on 30. I don't have this. It's a great soundtrack, but it's you're all awesome. getting one. It's courtesy of Hollywood Records. The movie, 13 going on 
30 is the difference now. Alias is on Sundays at 9 o'clock on ABC. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Ellen. Now, that, is, that a, is that a shirt for a pregnant woman? Yes, my really? friend. Yes. Oh, you look so uncomfortable right now. Oh, I'm not. I'm All just right. saying. No, no. No, I'm I know, totally but I know fine. that. It's, I just want you to be so comfortable. I know we don't have a lot of time. Um, I just want you to be comfortable. Get up. Okay. Come on. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get up. Get up. Let's get up. Get up. I'm glad. I'm glad you're taking yeah. this seriously. Okay. Here, there's a, there's a switch for you right there. Thank you. Sure. Okay. <laughs> more comfortable? Very much more. Thank you. I'm yeah. glad you finally, somebody understands. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want it on your lap so you don't have to turn away? No, no, that's all right. You sure? You're fine. Go all ahead. Right. I see. <laughs> yeah, but what about me? Um, so congratulations on, on the wedding Thank and you. on everything. Thank We've you. Got And I've been there where you, I love that place. Oh. That I discovered it before any, I think, like. You early. were the first, I heard. You were actually kind of the Christopher Columbus. I saw the flag. Yeah. <laughs> I, I felt like I did, but it's the most beautiful place. Yeah, it was completely And the, and the, the water's yeah, so clear and blue, it's... and that's really great. And you got away with not telling your family or anything. Yeah, but I didn't tell my mom or my sisters or any of my friends. It was kind of crazy. Yeah, you mm -hmm. can't trust your mom. No, no, uh -uh. no, don't tell your mama, no. Uh -uh. no. <laughs> now, and it's so exciting, now you're due soon, I would think. Tomorrow. Okay, no. great. <laughs> Not at all. Somebody nice. boil water and get some sheets. <laughs> no, come on, Mamie, I um, still have a ways to go. Uh-huh, all right, mm -hmm. and are you, are you excited? How much did you weigh when you were a baby, born? I weighed a very reasonable amount. I weighed, you know, seven, uh -huh. six and a half, seven. And, and Ben? Twelve. Ah. Oh. So, but you're, you're not nervous or anything. You're just excited. But it's going to be a big yeah, baby. No, I'm, <laughs> yeah, apparently, because I'm like two weeks pregnant. No. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I, I'm really excited. Uh -huh. And I have moments, of course, where I get a little nervous. But for the most part, for the most part. What? I said yeah. fart. I didn't yeah. mean. For the most part, I, uh, <laughs> I'm really good to go. Excited. That's the part we'll use to promo you. <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> but you don't seem that big to me. I, and uh, were you able to hide really? this on? Yeah, I don't think you look that big, especially. My I, friends, it's like I'm carrying three children. I've got one here and one here and one there. No. That's what it feels don't like. Don't hit your stomach like that. <laughs> You're fine, right? Yeah. You're a tough little booger. <laughs> All right, so, um, and we'll use that too. We'll use <laughs> <laughs> the coffee, uh, the smoking. Good. This is this is going well. Were you able to hide the um, the pregnancy when well, you were shooting? Well, they talked about it for Alias. They said, you know, we're just going to hide it and it'll be fine. And, and I called them over the summer and I said, I know you guys aren't around me, but I am carrying like the largest child ever, mm -hmm. and <laughs> you might you might want to reconsider. I mean, I'd have to be in a hospital bed with like a dummy, like a fake body here while I'm standing underneath, uh -huh. right? How else would you? Well, I, mean, I wouldn't that have done that. Make but, sense. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, they decided yes, it would make sense if Sydney were were pregnant. So now you're you're going to be pregnant on the show. So as soon as you have the baby, then you have to walk around with a big pregnancy thing too. I guess Sydney has to have the baby too, right? At the same time? I would hope so. That's so weird. I hadn't thought of it. Not like at the same time. It's not like I'm going to let the cameras in and we're going to. No. Uh -huh. But um, yeah, I would assume that, you know, Sid, and we're about the same part far along. Are you? I'll have to ask her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, are you having, are you having, um, you're uh, clearly not thinking clearly, but. Um, <laughs> Are you having, do you have mood swings and do you have, are you, because you seem like you're so happy and like. I've been so happy. No, um, no, I've been totally, just keep the sugar right here and. Uh, uh, no, really, are you been, craving stuff? Just, I'm just trying to make up for every carb I never ate. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to get really friendly with carbs. It's a good carbs. time to do it. You should yeah. have. <laughs>
<laughs> you know, and, and they really do say the, the fatter the baby, the healthier it is. Right. They say that's the best thing that a baby can be. Right, so, and they sleep through the night yeah. faster, eat, and they eat up. Yeah, you have that pizza right. or not? <laughs> Here you go. Thanks. Knock yourself um, out. All right, uh, we got you a... a uh -huh. <laughs> I may get pregnant someday. You never know. <laughs> we got you a gift. Um, oh, now I have to swallow this. Um, here's Sydney. This is uh, on the show. Um, and we like that outfit a whole lot. Yeah. All right. So this, um, I was not you know pregnant. What I didn't here. offer you as a pillow or anything. Just relax. Thank you. Um, <laughs> all right. And then have that. Thanks. Um, <laughs> oh, wait. It's upside down. Okay. So for the baby, here's a little onesie. <laughs> and you can do a little. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. And then here's another. Uh huh. Another look that, that I think you know you want to do a mommy and do, uh, and and daughter, right? So um, we have the little wig, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> little leather pants. Okay, good. All right. This is very good. All right. This is very good. And this is the best thing. I know that y'all get hounded by the paparazzi all the time, and right. so you want to try to keep the baby. Um, hidden so that they don't get pictures and stuff. So we got a little trench coat and a little oh, um, Very, very good. <laughs> very good to you. Mm -hmm. Look at that cute little hat. <laughs> nice. This will be right. newborn size. Yes, I, yeah, <laughs> yes. <it> probably will. <laughs> That'd be scary. <laughs> All right, um, you have, I know, a big announcement to make, and we're going to uh, make it after uh, this commercial. We'll be Huge. Right back. We're back with Jennifer Garner. And I'm a little hurt because I, you know, I, you know how much I love you and give you all kinds of whatever you want, and I try to make you happy. And uh, I've done some uh, research, and you've had pets, and they're named after talk show hosts, uh, right? Oh, right. Yes, Charlie Rose. Uh huh. I had a dog named Charlie Rose, and uh, right now my dog is Martha Stewart. Uh huh. Um, mm -hmm. She's smart. Yeah. 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 If so I'm just wondering if there's maybe a, something named Ellen DeGeneres or something. We've talked about it, Ellen. I'm glad you brought this up. We've talked. We were thinking cat. Mm -hmm. Then we were thinking like pufferfish or something. You know what I mean? Like or goldfish. So so that I could say, hey. <laughs> so we could say, hey, if you um, if you clean out Ellen's bowl today, or <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You have to careful what you wish for. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Well, never mind. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres, yeah. it's time for dinner. Yeah. Puss, it's, puss. Yeah. <laughs> What's it called? Estrogen flowing around in you right now? <laughs> Some kind of chemical. Um, all right, uh, tell, me, tell us your big announcement. With the Hurricane Katrina that just recently happened. Obviously, all of us, you, you automatically think about yourself in that situation. I think that's what sympathy or empathy is. is and um, so, of course, I thought about all the young mothers or the expectant mothers and how terrified they must be and how much stuff you need just to take care of a baby. And then when Rita happened, and I have all this family in Beaumont, Texas, and Houston, and Baytown, and my grandmother was stuck in that traffic for 18 hours. Grandma, Exie Mae Garner, in traffic. For 18 um, hours. Yeah, wow. she's okay. And I mean, a lot worse happened to a lot of people, but it's, you do realize it could happen at any point in time to any of us. You never know. And so anyway, when I was coming here, I was thinking about this and how we could do something for these people. And I called up Target. And Target was so generous. They um, offered to give us a little something. And they also offered to give us $100,000 worth of gift cards to spread out all over the shelters in the South, along with, bring it out, boys. <laughs> Thank you Hi, so how are much. You? 
Isn't this it? Hi, how are Hi. you? I'm Jennifer. So this is amazing. Isn't this so, incredible? So this is going to be multiplied by like a gajillion. Mm. And it'll be handed out to all of the shelters. And then they'll have gift cards. So if they, they need stuff, you know, that isn't here, although I can't imagine, um, they can go and pick it out. Wow, that's incredible. So thank, thank you to Target. Thank you for thinking that. Thank you, Target, for doing that. That's fantastic. All right. The fifth season of Alien premieres this Thursday night at 8 o'clock on ABC. And we come back, we're going to be playing a game. Uh, Madonna, is that you? You're going to help me figure out yeah, for sure. who it is. All right, we'll yeah. be right back. And now we're going to play one of my new favorite games. It's called Madonna, is that you? I hadn't done it. All right, here's what happens. There's a mystery celebrity on the phone, and I'm going to try and guess who it is by picking up the phone and talking to them, because it's going to be impossible to try and guess without picking up the phone. Um, and uh, you're going to help me. That's why you're still here. Because I'm good at it sometimes, and sometimes I'm not real good at it. Uh, we're going to show the studio audience who it is, not the people at home. They get to play along with us. Don't say it out loud. You, you'll see who it is. All right? All right. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Hello? Hello, darling. Madonna, is that you? Oh, no, this ain't Madonna. Uh, th you, this is not your vo voice. I would, I would assume this is not your real voice. It's probably one of your voices. No, this is my real voice. Thank you. All right. Um, let's say you're on a deserted island. Name three things that you'd take with you. Hmm. Pizza Hut? <laughs> From a girl in Carpation. <laughs> Pizza Hut and what else? Um, my mom and uh, my fishing pole. <laughs> my mom, what did you just guess? My mom and my saxophone? <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Garner sitting here listening, trying to figure it out too, and she thought you said your mom and your saxophone. Um, no, she said... <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop. <laughs> uh, all right, what's up? Uh... Have you been on the show before? Yes. You've been on the show? <laughs> yes. All right. God, I just knew that voice. Um, what's, uh, hey, name a favorite movie. Claudine, starring <laughs> Diane Carroll and James Earl Jones. But one of my particularly favorite ones was uh, Bringing Down the House, starring Steve Martin, you know, Eugene Levy and that other cute chick. <laughs> that, those were a lot of voices I've never heard come out of you before. I'm in a good mood tonight. Yeah. <sighs> um, all right. Well, thanks for calling in. We're going to see you soon because you're going to help us out with uh, Hurricane Katrina in a way also, right? Absolutely. I can't wait till we get together to do this. And thank you for all the money that you're raising, everything you're doing. Looking uh, forward to it. Uh, thank you. And, um, hey, say congratulations to Jennifer Garner. She's sitting here next to me pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, babies! Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> All right, Queen, I'll see you later. All right, thanks, thanks everybody. Thanks, bye. All right, Queen Latif, everybody. Michael Rappaport joins us after this. Jennifer Garner! You look beautiful, and I love the movie, and we'll get to all that. Oh, good, thanks. But how come? Oh, yeah, it's, it's been a while. This is our seventh season, and, and you haven't been here in four years. What happened? Well, that's what I'd like to know. No, no, no. I call. Oh, I call. Oh, no, no. Oh. <laughs> No, you didn't. I tried to get into your birthday party. I stood outside. Mm -hmm. I saw Jennifer Aniston go by. I saw lots of people go by. Uh -huh. and I'm in, I'm in, yeah. You know. Well, I didn't invite you because I didn't think you'd come. Let's make up. OK, good. OK. Because I was Here. just about to go, who's going to check me, boo? Cartier. Um, <laughs> wow, really? Yeah. They yeah. just loaned it to me, but you keep it. They Thank never you. pay attention. Thank Thank you very yeah. much. <laughs> That's beautiful. Who makes this? Do you know? Cartier, I think. Oh, Cartier, thank you. Yeah. If you plug them, they'll give it to you. I know. Well, yeah. <laughs> Cartier.
Cartier, yeah. the, the top of the thank Julie you, thank jewelry you. designing. Thank you, Cartier. Mm -hmm. Anyway. <laughs> Um, mm. Well, that's very sweet of you. Seriously, I, I've been I, I, watching everything going on. You have a lot of good things in your life. Last time I was here, I was pregnant with your yeah, first child. I know. I have. I had her, and I have a whole other one. A whole other one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You've made another one. <laughs> yeah. And how? Old, it's not that hard. How old? <laughs> <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> mm. I beg to differ. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> So how old is the first one that was inside of you when I saw you? Yeah, she's... What's um, her name? Violet. Violet. And she's how old? She's three and a half. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the other, the new one is a girl also. <laughs> yeah, the new one is a girl also, last time I checked. And, um, and um, she is... How old? Eight months. Eight months. Well, really that's why funny. I call her new. Violet is, 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 right. is used now. Yeah. <laughs> yes. She was a, the, the earlier the, yeah. model. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. we can't turn her in, right. but we exactly. went out and got a new one. Uh -huh. um, yeah, and she's more like me. Uh-huh. Just kind of dumb and happy. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy to be dumb and happy. I know. It's the best way to yeah. live. It's a great thing to be dumb and happy, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. I, I, I would imagine. Um... <laughs> I just called myself dumb and happy. Um, <laughs> now, uh, and, and congratulations on your in uh, this uh, yes, month. Yes, that oh, was you wrote very a, exciting for me. Yeah, you wrote mm -hmm. a, a whole article and on... And that's my picture. There you are. Yeah, and I talked about the books I like. Right. Uh -huh. that's, that's great, because you want to help children learn to read. You think it's important for I kids do. to read. That's why you wrote this. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Uh -huh. I am going to be on the cover of O in December with uh, Andre. Are you here? really? Yeah. Yeah. You're, um, you're in here. Right. I'm, I'm going to be here. Wow. That's interesting. So, um, yeah. I'm, are you, you're inside here. And are I'm, you going to be, be, I'll be out here. Are you out here with Oprah? Yeah. We just, did you meet her? Were you yeah, there, both there together? We just shot it Saturday. Yes, we did it. They uh, didn't Photoshop you in no. to one cover? Because they no. can put you in a cover of a magazine, no. you know, just like at Disneyland. No, or something. I know, no. Like the George Michael Aretha Franklin video that they did a long time ago. Right. No, this is, uh, she and I were together. Yeah. We met. That's great for you. Good. It's great. Okay. Anyway, you didn't, um, you, you didn't so, hang out with her or anything like that. Not that day. No. <laughs> but um, no. we're probably we're going out. Uh, her birthday this year. I'm definitely invited. Yeah. We're definitely going to hang out. What's a lot? What's her birthday? Do you remember? Oh man, her birthday. We celebrate it all year round. Uh -huh. I, she's, she's calling me right now. Hello. Oh, oh, that's your phone. It's Oprah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> she, forget it. Well, if you want to hang out with her, you can, you can, you see, you come here more often, you'll hang out with Oprah with me. Okay. Yeah. Give me my ring. Okay. <laughs> All right. I want to talk about the movie. We have to take a break, but this movie is so hilarious. I hear you liked it. For I, real. I loved it. And it's I love good. Ricky Gervais. Gervais, I think, is so funny. And then I want to do this, this, because you have an amazing body, so you're working out in some kind of crazy way that everybody's going to be interested in. <laughs> I don't believe this is what you did because someone showed me in my room. Uh -huh. This isn't what you do. But we'll let you show us. I'll show you. All right, we'll be right back. We're back with Je the lovely and talented Jennifer Garner. And uh, this movie, it's a funny, funny movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, just, it, it's about a but town. But it makes you think. Yeah, and it's about the world before anyone has lied. Everyone just says exactly what's on their mind. Bluntly. I, it, but, I mean, the waiter walks up to the table and starts with, I'm ashamed that I work here. Can I take your order? Um, and it's just, but it's all off the cuff, and it's just, oh, it's so funny. I'm so glad you liked it. I love it. And there it. are a lot of people in it. Yeah, a lot of, uh, who a are lot they? Of comedians. Okay, people such as um, Jonah Hill, Louis C.K., Rob Lowe, Ricky Gervais, Tina Fey, um, oh, uh, Edward Norton, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman. Um, more. There are more. Waiting for Guffman. What's his name? Oh, Christopher, uh, Christopher Guest. Guest. Favorite. Uh, yeah. Hilarious. Hilarious. Anyway, very, very funny yeah. movie. Um, and uh, before we, we, we are going to show your workout thing later, but before we go, talk uh -huh. about your, you are uh, trying to make sure that kids are more active. More which... active, more literate, getting fed well. Um, I am teaming up. Well, I, I am a, the artist, one of the artist ambassadors for the U.S. program of Save the Children, which basically means I'm here talking to you guys about a program I really love. And Save the Children is teaming up with Frigidaire. To, um, Frigidaire is giving Save the Children $250,000. And what they're asking is that on November 1st, 
when we all get that extra hour of sleep, you take that hour and you give it to a kid in need. That's helpful. Yeah. All right. Uh, are you going to have more babies? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know. People want to know stuff like that. I mean, yeah. you must want, Ben must want some boys know, in there. Do you guys think we should have another baby? Yeah. You said it's easy. <laughs> yeah, that part's easy. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I feel pretty um, stretched right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, I mean, time-wise, gross. <laughs> the invention of lying. <laughs> oh, and, oh, my gosh. There are boys in this audience, and they laughed in such a nasty way. No. <laughs> we knew what you meant. Yeah. Yeah. The invention of lying opens in there to October 2nd. <laughs> All right, we're going to show people that your workout a little right. later, right? OK. All right. We'll check in with Jeannie after this. Don't go away. All right, well, you're all here on a really good day because you're all getting the 17-disc Paul Newman Tribute wow. Collection on DVD from 20th Century Fox. There's some amazing movies in here his entire career. Very cool. All right. Let's see. This is something. Where do these come? What are these called? These are called Val Slides. I've worked with the same trainer for 10 years. Really? Uh, Valerie Waters. Uh-huh. Uh, they're ValSlide.com. OK. Um, Val is here. Hey, Val. Hi, Val. Um, all so right. you guys called me about this. I, I'm not out. You also heard about it your own selves, but I'm happy to peddle your wares, we Val, will, for you. So we, don't forget. Yeah. Um, OK, so workouts the, for free for the rest of your life, because uh, what you're doing for Val <laughs> yeah. right now. All right, what do you do with these things? OK, so basically, they just do, take anything you do. Do you want to work your tush? Do you want to work your abs? What do you feel like? All of it. All of it? I want to do all of it. Okie dokie. All right. Then let's do a valve slide reverse lunge. Put one foot on here. Mm-hmm. A then, reverse lunge. Oh, I hate yeah. lunges. All yeah, right. but this makes it a little bit better, uh -huh. harder, and right. better. OK. And you go down and up. Mm-hmm. Bend your back knee. Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh, you're good at this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it works better if you're in six-inch heels. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you're doing that with heels. OK, yeah. so there's the lunge. So then you can also do, you know, these little evil things, and they do the outer inner thigh. OK, so let's do some abs, right? Sure, let's do abs. And you can do like a James Brown. You can kind of do <laughs> You okay. want to do some abs? Sure. OK, so uh, uh, well, let me yeah. see what you're doing. Here you go. I'm going to do something called a painful push away. Painful push away. Yeah, that's painful. So you push away, and then it's painful. And then you push away, and then it's painful. <laughs> that's in your stomach? You do it. <laughs> She's like, do it. Do it. All, All right. right. All right. I, oh, my back. Ugh. All okay, right, you so push away with your push hands, away, and then and then you come up. In. Painful, push right? Away. Well, it's yeah, because my lower back is a little tweaked right now. I probably shouldn't be doing it. Oh, whatever. Hey, I want to thank <laughs> Jennifer Garner, Paolo Nutini, and Joe Wong. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Hi. Hello. I love that dress. Thank you. That does not look like a maternity dress, actually. Is it it's a maternity? Not, I can't breathe. <laughs> Well, I'm not that far along. I just, the third time, I think your body just assumes the position. Uh -huh. It just is ready to go. So, so this is your third. Yes. And is it uh, getting easier with each pregnant, or because you know what's happening, or does it change? Well, the first trimester is just yuck. I mean, there's just, that actually is just yuck. But then after that, like yeah. Morning you, sickness, you're saying, mm -hmm. yuck. Kind of all day sickness, yeah. Right. But after that, it is, um, yeah, it's no big thing, except there is one big thing, and that is my bottom. And that is, um, <laughs> I, you know how once you have kids, you never pee by yourself again? They're always, at least one of them is always in there with you at all times. So uh, <laughs> the other day, I had on a dress, and my daughter was in there with me, and all of a sudden, she went, <gasps> Mom, we have to have a talk. How and old I, is she? How old? She's five and three quarters. Uh -huh. And I said, What is going on? And she said, Mom, your bottom has gotten so big <laughs> that, that your panties don't even begin to cover it. <laughs> and I said, It's called a thong. You wear it when you're a grown up. And she was like, Oh, that is so gross. So.
Good. Well, yeah. Right. Glad I'm having another one. That's Glad amazing. I'm perpetuate that. So, so don't wear a thong anymore. <laughs> uh, is that well? I should, I, does it? Is that all you wear is thongs? Because we have, <laughs> we have Ellen underwear that, I know, that will cover your. I know. We have those in my house. I okay. wear them. I oh, love those. Oh, good. Because I I'll, need more, please. I'll give you some more. Okay, well, good. Let's get Jennifer some extra more large. Ellen underwear. Yeah. All right, extra large. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> I'm sure we make the extra large. I'm we sure make, you we do. make all the different sizes. And so uh, they, you have a five year old, what's her name? Violet. Violet. And then uh, the, the second one? Uh, two and a half year old. Two Sarah, and a half. Sarah. 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 Fina, Sarah. Sarah. And how do the two uh, girls feel about having, do they want a sister? Do they want a brother? Um, they have a lot of opinions, mostly about names, and they don't really care the gender as long as we name it what they want it to be. And named. what are their names? They get, they, I bet they have good ideas. Oh, they do. Um, as a matter of fact, Ralphie, Frankie, Minnie Mouse, Daisy Duck. Uh, um, yeah, Rosemary. Well, if it's, if it's a girl, that's not going to be bad. Right, right. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah, but all those other names for a Hollywood a kid, that's not a bad name. No, Daisy, du <laughs> Daisy Duck Daisy is Daisy Duck Affleck. That's it's a actually <laughs> kind of, <laughs> I could see us going that way. Please do that. that <laughs> we would, will. That would make me happy if you if would do that. If it would, honestly. Yeah. Well, then do it, please. Okay. And and do you obviously? That's a ridiculous question. Do you care? Do you? Would you like to have a little boy? Or? Everyone says, "Oh, I hope it's a boy. I hope it's a boy." And I'm one of three girls, and my little sister is awesome. So I just want a Susanna, you know? But I mean, obviously we'd be happy either way because it would be so weird to have a boy and mm -hmm. cool and different. And I'm sure that it would be fun for Benny, like baseball and all that stuff. Right. Um, but a third girl, three girls is a great way to grow up. So. Right. That's, and, and uh, do they, but do they play baseball? Do they, are they tomboys or are they girly girls? <laughs> My husband plays a lot of baby doll. Oh, really? He is really cute with, I mean, I, I will walk in and he will be sitting on a little chair with his, he's so tall, he's really tall, right? Yes. And he'll have a baby doll and I'll say, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm watching, I'm watching Frankie here while, uh, yes. That's, that's I know. sweet. He's, he's really The cute. least they could do is play ball with him then. If he's going to play dolls with them, he can get them outside I'll and they can play baseball. I'll, I'll tell them that's your suggestion. Yeah. That's, I mean, they should compromise. They should learn that early on. Sure. I'll get on top of that. And do, do they understand <laughs> that they, uh, thank you. Um, so two things, the child's name and then you'll, you'll talk to them about that. Yeah. Daisy Duck. Yeah. I'll write compromise. a note for you later. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, and, and uh, do they know that they have, uh, they must know because of paparazzi and stuff, do they understand what you do and what their dad does? Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, um, they have a pretty straightforward, clear grasp on it. They're not impressed at all. Mm -hmm. uh, my daughter has, is in kindergarten, and so um, she was talking about career day, which will be later in the year, and she said, you know, Mom, the kids might find it interesting to have an actress come in if you wanted to talk about what you do. And I said, oh, well, that, that's great. I, I would love that. And she said, then again, dad acts. And doesn't he write? And he directs? Um, so probably dad should come in just because he has more to talk about. She's like a daughter in Mildred Pierce or something. She's like, she's like yeah, they, kids take you down. Well, right? I mean. It makes for good talk show. Wow, she's she's a very uh, mature little girl. It sounds like. Yes, she is. Uh, <laughs> and and uh, in in the the middle one, the two and a half year old. What's her personality? Um, crazy, sunshine, happy tantrums. Happy tantrums. Those you know, are both. Those, like those are a mixture from one to the other. I Just see. really, really funny and wow. happy, and then huge, huge. Enormous, gigantic wow. tantrum. Well, you look beautiful, and you have an Thank amazing you. light and energy about you for for being, you know, a full time mom with with two kids like that. Thank you. you very we have much. to take a break, and uh, we'll talk uh, more with Jennifer Garner. <laughs> We're back with Jennifer Garner, and uh, so um, let's let's talk about uh, you and Martha Stewart. There's a relationship. My you, dog. Martha Stewart. No, I know the you, person. Yes. Okay. But is <laughs> what kind of dog is it again? She's a white lab, and and it's it, Martha Stewart is the name. Martha Stewart. Oh, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so you like She goes by Martha. Okay. If you call her Martha, she knows you mean. Okay. But if she's in trouble, she's Martha Stewart. Martha Stewart. Mm -hmm. I love that name. <laughs> I think that's a really great name. Um, so, but Martha Stewart, the woman. Uh -huh. uh, the you, human. The human woman. Um, <laughs> you uh, got drunk with her on the air, is that right? Not on, <laughs> oh, gosh, it sounds so tawdry. <laughs> um, not on purpose. Uh -huh. I wasn't planning on getting drunk, but. 
I went to her house in, because I wanted to see her house. Sure. I mean, you know. Uh, so I went to her house in Bedford, New York, Bedford, New York, and to do a Christmas special. And she said, I know what would be lovely. Uh, you'll, uh, I'll answer the door and you'll have champagne and then we'll both have some champagne. <laughs> so you do a few takes of that and it's not like they were giving me a bowl of pasta between and champagne goes straight to my head. Anyway, I'm kind of a lightweight and I just was, I, I could hear myself, not unlike now, only now I am sober, uh -huh. but talking really loudly and really quickly and I thought, I am drunk. <laughs> Was she drinking with each take also? I drank more. <laughs> Did you? It was just tasty. It was good champagne right. and I wasn't thinking about it and right. I'm sure she can hold hers. More than you. Yes. Yes. And, and did you have fun? Well, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> you mean, don't know? It was two in the afternoon or, yeah. or 10 in the morning. Right. I don't know, but I was, I was totally... One of the totally, two. Yes. Of the two. <laughs> it was something o'clock and right. I was drunk. So what more... <laughs> Next time. Oh, it's something o'clock. <laughs> um, had you been to her house before? Uh-huh. <laughs> Why were you at her house? Um, we just uh, were like stalkers. And we were, happened to be in Bedford, New York, um, Ben and I did together, and we drove by and um, somebody said that's Martha Stewart's house, and so he went and talked to the security guard and asked if I could go in and see the kitchen, and they let me. <laughs> that is something I would do. Yeah. I literally knock on doors if I like the house, and I'll go, can I please see, I, this is such You a should see our uh, kitchen. Really? I would it's like so to. fun. It has. It's just, I like to cook in there. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> let's talk about the movie. You, you, it, did you write it? You produced it? You I didn't write it. What did you do? Jason there's, McAuliffe wrote it. There's all kinds of things you did, though. Okay. So this movie called Butter, which is about butter carving. I saw someone from Minnesota back there. You know about butter carving, right? Yes? Anyone from the Midwest knows butter carving is this huge, huge thing that happens at the state fairs in the middle of the country. And uh, this is a movie that takes place in the world of butter carving. All right, so uh, you have a clip, I, I think. Yeah, we've just been showing it at, at, at festivals the last couple of weeks, and the res it's been so fun to work on it for all this time and produce it and have people laugh their heads off. So here's a clip. It takes place in the world of butter carving. My character's a little bit ambitious, and uh, her husband has just been told that he's no longer allowed to carve butter. He's won the last 15 years of the state fair, and to her, her world has come crashing down. I can't wait to see it. Thank I you. I think you'll uh, like it. I, I really do. I know I will, and what a great cast. All right, we have to take a break, and uh, we're going to talk about something you're involved with, and then I have a little gift for you. We'll be right back. Really? Yes. More and uh, you're doing something uh, very cool, very important, uh, in my opinion, to get uh, children to eat healthier. Yes, uh, I work with Save the Children, and Save the Children works with kids from birth all the way through elementary school, just to get them started on the right foot with nutrition, with exercise, with literacy, with development, with all, all kinds of things. It's a great, great organization. And Frigidaire partners with Save the Children and has a $500,000 commitment towards to support Save the Children in their efforts. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. and and you have, you have a garden at your house now? Yes, I love, I really do believe in growing some of what you eat and in eating locally. I believe in farmer's markets. I, be, I believe in this stuff and I try to live it. So, um, it's so important. Yep. So I want my kids to know where food comes from and I, we tilled the soil, <laughs> we have a compost, we did it all and I made them plant all this corn. I made them plant this huge garden. And we planted all this corn and it was hot and they were sweating. Finally, the corn has gone from, you know, all the way, all the way up. They can't believe how big it is. They're dying to harvest. And the day has come and we go down and it's demolished. Just every kernel eaten right off of the thing. And my little one said it, cause she thought it was the tallest thing she'd ever seen. And she said, I guess a giraffe got in here. <laughs> That's cute. It was, gone. it was a raccoon or <laughs> <Yeah>. Ben. Do <laughs> you have a scarecrow? Because that's what you have to get. Bring it out. I have a I have a scarecrow that you can put in your, your garden. <laughs> really? Yep. Am I taking this home? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Wait, can I get up in the yeah. yeah? Isn't that great?
Ready? I, I was like, they made this. I was like, those are my clothes. Yeah, this is legitimately yeah. nice. Yeah, it is legitimately yeah. nice. Well, and you it's have mine it now. now. All right, yeah, I'm going to my garden. All right. <laughs> For more information on Frigidaire and Save the Children, go to our website. Uh, we'll be back. Jennifer Garner, everybody. Hey, Jennifer. Hi. It, uh, the last time I saw you, you were very, very pregnant. You were about to have a child. So that could have been any time in yeah, the there's last been, there's been many seven times. years of my life, oh, yes. Oh, every other time you're pregnant when you're here. <laughs> I know. And true. now, obviously, I am not pregnant you're not pregnant right, right now. Right now. Yes. And uh, how, Today. Old, how old is that little, uh, but maybe tomorrow we find out? You never know. Yeah. Never know. Are you going to keep having kids? Are you going to have more? No, no. I'm, uh, I'm yeah. definitely, I plan to be done, but my yeah. husband is a kind of a wonder sperm kind of guy. So uh -huh. just, <laughs> it's good to know. You don't know. Wonder well, sperm. Just, I mean, you'll just have a look at him. You yeah, can see yeah. But anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, he's seven months old. Seven months old. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow, his, no, yeah. Friday. He's not yet. He's six months old. He's almost seven months old. Tomorrow. No. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. indeed. <laughs> Have some water. Yeah, so. <laughs> I don't know what day it is either. I'm very confused. I, it always yeah. happens to me that way. So he's, uh, so he's, anywho, he's seven months old. Nice to see you. And, 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 <laughs> what, is his, what is the child's name? Um, Sam. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you just name him on the spot just now? No, but you know that thing when you have a baby and you have then another one? And I, I look at my daughter and I'll say, you know, Violet, Martha, Sam, Martha, Ben, no, Violet. You are Violet. <laughs> yes. Will you please pass that? I can't get their names straight. I understand. I, I do the same thing with my pets. And I would imagine if you have a lot of children, you'd do the same thing with your children. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. And that's not going to mess them but up at all. when you confuse the pets <laughs> and the children all oh, that's together. That's bad. That's really bad. That's just bad. Yeah. You don't want to call your dog Violet. You were, yeah. You're, right. Your daughter's name. Um, and do you have pets? Yeah. We have them. Um, <laughs> I had to think about that. All of this sounds oh, it's, like you're really a beat behind. Um, <laughs> no, we we have Martha Stewart. Uh huh. Of course. Yes. And we did have a guinea pig. Uh huh. But um, she passed. Yeah. <clears throat> Mrs. Andrews. Uh huh. But I don't call anyone Mrs. Andrews because that's a very unique name. Yes, mm -hmm. you would know which one. Well, maybe the children should be named like Mrs. Andrews and things like that. <laughs> right. So you know who they and are. And keep them straight. Yeah. So you have Violet and, uh, and what's the Sarah. Name? Sarah. And how old are they? Violet is... Um, wow, you're really <laughs> thinking about every... <laughs> I'm contemplative. Uh -huh. It's just starting with the day of the week and then on. Is, yeah. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. Um, Violet is six and a half and Sarah's three and a half. Uh -huh. And then the, the little Sam is seven months old. Yes. And is he... Uh, can you already see a difference in, uh, in him being a boy? Were they different at seven months? I mean, they didn't pee in my eye, but... Um, <laughs> Other than, I don't know if it's because he's a boy. I don't know if it's because he's my third and I forget that I have him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're just dealing with two and then you think, oh, I put a baby down. I swear I put a baby down somewhere. And you kind of walk through the house, there you are, and he's just happy. <laughs> as can be. Well, mm -hmm. you're not coming off as a good parent. <laughs> So, so um, he's really, he's good? He's so chill and mellow, and he's really, 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 he's, yeah. he's sweet. Until he starts running around, because then that's when well, boys that's, get Well, he's perfect right now, because yes. he doesn't move. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> but he sleeps pretty well, uh -huh. and he reaches when he sees me, and he laughs a lot. He oh. thinks I'm super funny. Yeah. So, what more do you want? No, that's that's the, fa the favorite. It's, it's the cutest thing when they reach for you. Yeah. That just breaks your heart when mm -hmm. they reach for you like that. And then you go, eh, and you keep going. And it's like, <laughs> oh, you don't do that. Right. But, but he, he's so good. He could just lay there and he'd be fine if he went, I'll be back for you later. Yeah, I'll see you yeah. in 2015. Right. So yeah. do you have, like, do you just not take your baby proofing things off because you know there may be another child any minute now that you just leave it on the house all the time? Just any second. I could just right. blow up <laughs> just have, like a, have a baby. Um, <laughs> is everything childproofed? Every, everything is pretty childproof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, Perma proof. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And and how they they like having a little boy, I guess, a little brother. They're very sweet. Yeah. And so and Ben must be happy having a son. Was he going to just keep going until you had a son? No, no, that wasn't in the that wasn't the you plan. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. He, you know, really, his girls are so into him yeah. that. He's all about being, you know, having 
tea his, parties. His, his, yeah, he, yeah he, he actually he kind of excels uh, really? at playing baby doll. Really? Yeah. You, I can't see him doing that, but he said that he does. He sits down and has tea parties and plays he with the girls. Really, he does, and he can do it, and exp he can do it without using any energy at all. Like, he can sit there and be almost asleep, and they think they're having a, an incredible <laughs> game with him. Again, it's now, a skill. He's, <laughs> he's, now I've just now he's not. Yes, now he's parent. not a good parent either. Oh man. Yeah. Well, <laughs> talk to Brad and Angie. Yeah. They seem to have it together. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I don't know how they remember all the names because, Truly. you know, I, they have like 10 kids, don't I they? I call my kids Shiloh sometimes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh. Uh, we have to take a break, and uh, I want to talk to you about your garden and ask how, because we gave you a, sca a scarecrow. Sca the scarecrow. Very helpful. To see if it's in that. Indeed. Yeah, it's, it was a pretty one, too. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be back with Jennifer Garner. <laughs> We're back with Jennifer Garner, and no, just sometimes. Okay. I would like to be there full time because I would like to, to live off the land and grow vegetables and all that stuff, mm -hmm. everything that. So you, you planted, uh, like, Corn, is, it, uh, is it a big garden? We have a couple of small gardens, and we have a contain. We have stuff growing everywhere mm -hmm. because we can. Because it's just so it's so cool to pick yeah. your food. It is amazing. Yeah. And are you eating the food that you're growing? Uh, well, the other night I had kind of that perfect mom night where we um, I took my kids to the garden. We had a big bucket. We picked our tomatoes. We went back up and made tomato sauce together. They had planted the tomatoes. This is a good parenting story. Let's focus yeah. on this for a while. Yeah. I was holding judgment. When you said that, I was like, we'll see. But, <laughs> but um, then we made, we made homemade pizza all together. It was so, it was, it was they wanted Domino's, but <laughs> we did at least. And did they eat it? Did they enjoy it? They did. They just said, oh, you know, next time, could we have Domino's? <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, but it was good. Uh, well, good for you. Mm -hmm. So you actually you did the pizza. Well, you must have had like pre-made dough. You don't like? Did you no, do like a no, pizza I oven and everything? Dough? Really? Come on. That's impressive. Oh, then. That's I'm I'm really impressed. Dough's not that hard. Well, but then you I have. To, I'll, I'll show you. Well, thank you. Yeah. I would love to make it's pizza so at home. It's so cool to make your I own. I thought you actually dough. had to have a pizza oven to make pizza at home. No, you can put a pizza stone in the bottom, or just put it on a cookie sheet, or it doesn't have to be like the fanciest thing in the whole world. Don't yell have. at me. <laughs> I'm so mad. All right. So. <laughs> I'm gonna make some pizza tonight. Okay, good. All right. So, uh, but it's probably gonna be frozen dough. But um, <laughs> so, congratulations! You you just received an award at uh, CinemaCon, right? And it's the female oh, yes. star of the of year. Of the year. Of the year. Of the year. That's very impressive. It's a big deal. I know. It's very nice. Yeah, there I am. Um, I haven't been on a set in a, almost a year and a half, but um, it, we won't tell them that. Yeah. Because <laughs> my mother, when I told her, you know, she said, why are you going to Vegas? And I said, well, I, I got an award. Mom, I'm doing this award, Female Star of the Year. And she was like, why? Why are they giving you that award? You're just gestating and breastfeeding and doing everything but being a female star. A star of what? <laughs> well, <laughs> I said, well, Mom, you see where I get my skills uh -huh. with my kids. <laughs> I said, yeah, well, they're giving it. She said, can they take it back? And I said, nope, they're not going to take it back. They're wow. going to give it to me. Well, congratulations. It's a big Thank deal. You. It's Thanks. a big deal. What's your mom's name? Pat. Pat. Patricia English Garner. Patricia, mm -hmm. this is a big deal that your daughter got Star of the Year. Yeah, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing. Yeah, it's a big deal. So, all right, let's talk about Butter. This okay. is a movie that you're starring in. You, you actually produced it as well. Yes, and I did. It, it was is our it, first one. Congratulations Thank on you. that as well. And and so it's hard to get a movie produced. It's really hard. My my producing partner Juliana and I have been working for eight years to try to get something produced. This was our. We started this movie. Um, gosh, I was pregnant with Sarah when. So that that was four and a half years. That was a long time ago. Wow. Are you sure it was Sarah? <laughs> I, I was pregnant with somebody. Uh, I don't so, know who it was. But. So a long time ago, and yeah. now, and so the movie is is about butter carving, which is a real. Is it? Would you call it a sport or what is it? It's an art. An art. It's an art, and uh, you know, people <clears throat> in Los Angeles may not know about butter carving, but in the middle of the country, more people saw at the Iowa State Fair. This is a statistic in the movie. Went to see the butter carvings, then saw Celine Dion and her farewell concert and the Super Bowl combined. Really? Yeah, for real. 
Is and it, you see why when you see them. And if you try carving butter, it is the best thing to carve in the whole world because it's malleable, but it holds its shape. And that, I did that. <laughs> so, or else my character did. One yeah, of us, character. I can't remember. <laughs> one of you, you or your character did it. Okay, so, and it is, it is a... So it's a black comedy. Uh-huh. Um, and I play kind of a heinous woman. Mm -hmm. And I'm not proud of who she is, but she was fun to play. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. She was really, it's really fun. And it has this incredible cast. We got the most incredible cast together. Hugh Jackman, as you saw, which, what a dream Love boat, him, right? Love yep. him. Um, so Hugh Jackman, Olivia Wilde, Kristen Schaal, Ty Burrell from Modern Family, just, they just won the Emmy, of course. And, um, oh, uh, uh, um, Ashley Green, um, oh, Rob Corddry's great in the movie, Alicia Silverstone, and this beautiful little girl named Yara Shahidi. So, a wow. cool cast. That's amazing. That's and impressive. Olivia Wilde, did I say her? Yes. She takes her clothes off, so I have to say her twice. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's impressive to get a, a, your, your first movie. Uh, is that Olivia Wilde right there? Yeah, wow. that's her. That was her first day of work. <laughs> she showed up the day before. She was renting a house from this little woman who I think was like 91. And they just put a stripper pole in the middle of this woman's house and said, OK, here you go. Have a fun night. And she showed up and got it done. Knew how to do it. Wow. Sure. Impressive. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we're going uh, to do something. We're going to play a game sort of uh, uh, inspired, by. inspired by the movie. All Great. right. We'll take a break. Does it involve? Stripper poles? No. Okay, good. No. I, yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to do that either. Mm. We'll be right back. Okay, All right, so okay. we have 45 seconds. So Jennifer's going first, so I'm holding up first, right? All right, so I'll hold it up, and the audience will see it, everybody will see it, but me and I'll have to guess based on what you're sculpting, and we have 45 seconds. Go. Oh, that's easy. Uh, lips. <laughs> Oh, that's hard. Can I pass? No. Nope. <laughs> OK. Um, Croissant? <laughs> not at all. Um, ding, 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 ding. Bell. Yeah. You can't do that. OK. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, like this. Oh, I get it now. Sorry. Like this. <laughs> uh, barbell. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, dumbbell. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> OK. A snake? Uh-huh. <laughs> Glasses. So far. <laughs> it's really sad when you don't get dumbbell. I yeah. don't know what, I mean, when I didn't understand what I was drawing, I don't yeah. know what that says yeah. about. I'm having a rough day here. OK, All ready? Right. All right, no, you're doing great today. All right. Um, oh. Um, Lolly the worm. Sit up. <laughs> a, <laughs> a, croiss a croissant. A roll. A snail. Yes. A snail. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, ring. Uh huh. Heart. Yep. <laughs> Mustache. Piano. <laughs> hot dog. H hot dog in a bun. Peas in a pod. Oh. Uh, piano. <laughs> you can see butter on demand right now or in theaters October 5th. We'll be right back. People always feel the need that they have to rush to me. You started like taking a little jog here. Instead you, of, you feel like it's a lot of time it's on a camera of you walking down. Yeah, you know? it's all These right. These things are slow. It's hard to be fast when you're wearing, you know. Oh, tell me about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't I know it? Yeah. Don't. Yeah. yeah of course. Well, why do you do that to yourself? You don't have to. You could have worn know. something. I don't know. You know, I'm just a doll. I just stand there and somebody puts them on me. I don't. Even I see. You, know, <laughs> you just lay down and they do just dress you like yeah, that. I didn't wake up like this. No. Same. Well, you look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You always Thanks. look beautiful, no Thank matter you. what you have on. Oh, it's that's great very to nice. see you. And did you have a good Halloween? Yes, of course. Who yes. doesn't love Halloween? I, yeah. I, some people don't really care about it as much. Do you dress, do you do the whole trick-or-treating thing? Of course. Oh, yeah. I mean, when you have little kids, Halloween is the day. I mean, it's Christmas and Halloween, and I don't know which comes first, 
but Halloween well, is that the comes thing. first. Christmas is in December. Oh, so. thank you. Yeah. Thanks for clearing that. You're up. welcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, so Halloween is is definitely it's, it's a big deal at our house. And do you travel to other neighborhoods, or do you kind of stay in your own little area? Um, this year we did. Uh, like, yeah, we go around to other neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. Our neighborhood isn't that great for trick or treating. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of pranksters. Yeah, we live on the bad side of the tracks. I bet. I bet. <laughs> It's funny because there are certain areas in town, like a lot of people go to Hancock Park, right. you know, or a lot of people come to Toluca Lake here mm -hmm. to, because it's a, everybody. People just go bananas. Yeah. Right. Do you do the whole house thing? Do you decorate your house? Oh, our house is just obnoxious. Yeah. Starting from beginning of October through Easter, we live in like a Hallmark card really? house. Really? Yeah, because it's just after school, you're sitting around and you feel like, well, let's do some spider webs or let's make ghosts or let's, you know, we've made bats that hang from the ceiling. It's wow. You really sure. are crafty. Sure. Yeah, That's what well, you do you know, when you're I just. I can cut out a bat. Well, <laughs> yeah. I got it. <laughs> do you make their own costumes? Sometimes. Right now, um, for my daughter's lovely preschool. Um, How old is she? She is almost five. Mm -hmm. And they do a theme. So they do their own costumes at this school. And this year, it's under the sea. And she, you know, I was like, oh, this is so great. You could be a jellyfish, like an umbrella with stuff hanging down. You have to make your own. You're not allowed to cheat. You have to make your own. And she said, I'll be a seahorse. Seahorse? <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to make a seahorse? Well, I, and how hard to walk it as a seahorse. Right, because the tail. Yeah. So um, I, I have to admit, I did use a lot of glue and uh, staples. And it is made. It's um, it's beautiful. Well, is that cheating to use glue and staples? I mean, how else would you make it? Are you supposed to sew it? I think you're supposed to sew it or weave it or weave it. <laughs> you know, it seems like crochet it, like, but whatever. I like use who staples. has a loom in their house that they're <laughs> weaving a seahorse? <laughs> they probably have one at this preschool. But wow, yes. And, and then what? What were the other? You have two other children, right? Yeah. So um, gosh, we had a mummy, a scary mummy. We had a horse because my little dude is obsessed with horses. And we had, um, uh, the middle one was Madeline at night. Uh huh. So they didn't go in a theme this year. No. They, we decided to break apart any family themes. And what were you? I was a <laughs> mom. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> Because it's a subject of debate. Your kids, you know, I don't know about your kids. My kids want us to dress up big time. I sure mean, I remember when my first was two and a half and she looked at me and somebody said, what are you going to be for Halloween? And she was reading this little book. It was um, Big Dog, Little Dog. And she said, I'm going to be Ted, who's the little dog. And I was like eight months pregnant. And she looked at me and she said, and she's going to be Fred. <laughs> so I knew I had to take the hit. And I got the full dog costume and I got a turtleneck that said Fred. And I did the whole, it was. It was agonizing, but I did it. And then, um, you know, another year, they were going to be Little Mermaid people. And Ben came home from work, and the costume department had put together King Triton for him, because he just liked the idea of being the king of the sea, you know? <laughs> so he, he really went with that for a while. King of the sea. And then um, <laughs> last year, I, I said, you know, let's skip dressing up. You and I, we're grown ups. We don't have to do it. And they just talked, they can talk him into anything. So they started on him. We were Wizard of Oz. And uh, this is the deal I was Glinda. And then we had Dorothy and the Scarecrow. And oh, I'm forgetting a kid. Hang on, I can't forget a child. <laughs> the lion, thank you. And the lion. And then Ben was the. Um, Are my timid. producers helping you remember a child? <laughs> Look, whatever it takes. <laughs> OK. I, really, I mean, all right. if they so all get home from school, I feel like what that's a you? good day. What were you? You were Dorothy? I was Glinda. You were Glinda. Witch. And then and Ben was who? The Tin Man. So we go to another neighborhood to, uh, to, to trick or treat. And I am wearing a full-on ball gown. It was this pink, fluffy. It was itchy. It was uncomfortable. There is not another grown-up in sight dressed up except for Ben Affleck and me. <laughs> And, and he is in a full-on Tin Man. And he sees all the other people there and realizes we're the only ones dressed up. And he just took his Tin Man off and walked around and left me, his wingman, his partner in life, hanging as Glinda. So now I'm solo. I'm just like in, in agony. So I know he wouldn't want you guys to miss out on him as Tin Man. So I brought you a little something. Do you have a picture of him as Tin Man? <laughs> You're welcome. 
welcome, honey. Uh, he's not going to be happy about that. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm surprised he didn't already tweet it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's easy to take off, not when you're in a whole gown and everything. Mm -hmm. That's a little more difficult. Sure. Hey, the last time you were here, you want to clear something up? OK. <laughs> Do you remember what you said? I didn't remember it, but I have producers that remind me. And let's, let's, let's uh, remind everybody what you said. Are you going to keep having kids? Are you going to have more? No, no. I'm, uh, I'm yeah. definitely, I plan to be done. But my yeah. husband is a kind of a wonder sperm kind of guy. So uh -huh. just, <laughs> it's good to know. You don't know. Wonder well, sperm. Just, I mean, you'll just have a look at him. You yeah, can see. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> so. Wow. Remember that? I do now. You never know what you're going to say sitting in this chair. No, yeah. no. Um, so, so what do you want me to say about that, I don't Ellen? know. Spermy has so far um, been held at bay. OK, good. <laughs> I don't know. Is, uh, there are 57 kinds of contraceptives used um, pretty much you know, every day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Three of them are under the age of eight. Uh -huh. um, yeah. <laughs> but yes, um, yeah. so far so good. <sighs> Stop it. Yeah. Stop it in its tracks. Yeah. Because you're done. Because that's you have a, a wonderful family. I think family. that's enough. It I is. think we have provided the world with enough. <laughs> um, all right. Let's. We'll take a break and we'll talk about this amazing movie that you're in. I'm that so glad you liked it. I loved it and everybody in it how is. How about is that, Matthew? Right? Yeah. How about okay, all we'll talk of you? About it later. Yeah. We'll take a break. We'll talk about it. At Jennifer Garner and Matthew McConaughey and Dallas Buyers Club. It's, it's really, I got to say, when you start watching it, I found it, it's hard to watch. I mean, it's gritty I, I and. I find it the same. The, it, I find it a hard movie. Especially in the beginning. Yes. And then it changes into something different. And I was so educated by the end of it, like, wow, this is an amazing man. And it, it's a true story, right? It's just an amazing piece of history. I mean, we all lived through, so not all of us, but some of us did, so much of this time in the 80s when we were all so scared of AIDS and HIV. and, and but. Nowhere in my research ever did I read about a buyer's club, which was a huge part of history for people that were, you know, in the thick of it and in these communities. And um, it's, it's fascinating to, to watch this kind of unfold. And Matthew is, I mean, we say it's a hard movie to watch, but he's so charismatic. And he oh, is he's so amazing. full. I mean, he's amazing in the movie, but he's just so full of um, love and warmth and humor and all things Matthew that... He, he gets you through it. It's not like a movie that you feel like, oh, I can't bear to watch that. Yeah, you know? no, at first it, it was like, oh, this is, yeah, it, but tough. Matthew is, uh, and he's a heterosexual man who was one of the first you know, people to contract uh, HIV, and, mm -hmm. and he goes on to uh, help a, an entire group of people. Mm -hmm. um, and he's smarter than you imagine this guy to be. Too. Yes, he's a guy who has a, basically a seventh grade education, and he just educates himself and kind of, as self-preservation really forms a community around himself and starts this business and uh, helps a lot of people. Yeah. And especially because he was so homophobic. He was a very mm -hmm. angry man, and he, and he was uh, extremely homophobic, and then turns out to, to help everybody. And you lost like 46 pounds for this role too, right? Yeah, I mean, at least. It he, was, that must have been hard to be around. Could you eat in front of him? Was it, were you able to eat lunch? Well, no, you wouldn't do that. I mean, it was, you were pretty clear that these, that Jared Leto also. Yeah. Um, brilliant in it as well. Everybody, brilliant, yeah. right? Yeah. Heartbreaking, brilliant, yeah. so, so brilliant. Um, and the two of them weren't eating, so it wasn't, and, but there was no money for this movie anyway, so there was no craft services. It's not like we were sitting there having donuts. We were all, um, yeah. Starving we were, also. Yeah. But you were in New Orleans. That's a hard city to be in and not eat. I mean, that's that my, is for sure. That's you my hometown. You smell the beignets, and um, I would go and have one. And right. Come back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Powdered sugar. No. But yeah, the boys definitely. Yeah, both of them. And Jared was here uh, a couple weeks ago, and he, you know, also lost weight and was amazing in it. And so he, he the, their story. It's this friendship. It's the most unlikely friendship that Jared plays this transgender, and then Matthew, who's home, plays this homophobic man, and they end up becoming the real partners and best of friends. Yeah, it's really great. And mm -hmm. and your relationship with them is it's just it's beautiful. So Thank it's, you. It's, I'm so glad you liked it. Yeah. Oh, I loved it. It was. It's it's like I said, it's you've, you've got to prepare yourself when you're watching it because mm -hmm. it's intense, but it's, it's it, very educational, mm -hmm. very. All right, we'll take a break, and uh, you and I are going to be competitive. We're going to play a game, and I will win. <laughs>
We're back with Jennifer Garner. We're going to play a special fall edition of Gestures, and we need a couple of people to play with us. Where are Taina, Maya, and Brooke Lighthower? Oh, oh, okay, all right. Okay. Okay. Hi. Hi. Who are you? Which one are you? Taina Maya. Taina Maya. Yes. And what do you do? Where do you live? I'm a morning news anchor in Waco, Texas. Morning news, like what time? Yes. Five to seven. Five a.m. Yes. What five a.m. What time do you have to get up to get there for five? One twenty. One twenty in the morning. Yes. What time do you go to bed? Wheel of Fortune ends my day at six thirty. Oh my God. <laughs> That's yeah, amazing. I know. It's sad, I know. Yeah, no, it's not it's sad. Worth but it. Why are you awake right now? You should be. For you. Yeah. For well, you. thanks for being here. And you are? Brooke Whiteout. That's right. And where do you live and what do you do? Las Vegas, and I'm a mama and a photographer. A mama and a photographer. Yes. All right. <laughs> Welcome. All right. So uh, I think uh, here, it's like fast charades. That's what it is. And so you can't talk. You just have to act it out. And I guess fall means you're going to either fall down or something to do with falling. I don't know what this is about. But what? Autumn. 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 So not falling down <laughs> at all. <laughs> I'm not trying to throw you off. You mm -hmm. don't trust me. Anyway, if you take too long, the card's going to drop. And if you don't get the card out in time, the point doesn't count, OK? Mm -hmm. You're going to, uh, you should take those shoes They're off because you're going to want to run but fast. I don't have um, a pedicure. And, and <laughs> sorry. Get a close Don't up on get her a feet. Close because, up well, now you say that. That's not nice. Um, all right. And so, uh, Taina, why don't you uh, partner with her and okay. you can. Is, is she sitting? Yes, she's sitting, right? All right, ready? Yeah, go. Oh. You're fishing, you're rowing, you're sleeping, you're it's... raking, you're raking? Okay. Oh. You're eating, you're bobbing for apples, bobbing for apples. You have to grab it. Yeah. You're uh, sipping hot cider, blowing on something hot chocolate. Um, <laughs> Ding dong. You're uh, trick or treating. Trick or treating. <laughs> That's, no, you didn't do it right. You had to grab them. I said if you don't grab it before it goes down, you don't get the point. <laughs> I mean, you can no just. It was so that, easy. I know. I was supposed to grab it. That's I what I said. Now. Oh, you're cheated. I'm not. You I did. didn't mean to. All right, you can switch places there. And <laughs> oh, this is so. And go stand over there. You're punished. Oh gosh, Ellen, oh. I'm sorry. So proud of yourself and everything. <laughs> I know. I thought, like, what's All the right. big look? <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Um, throw a throw a football. Yep. Uh, um. <laughs> um. Oh, man. Um, eating food, picking up food. No. Um. Waving goodbye, pageant, beauty queen. Pageant, beauty pageant. Beauty. No, this is hot, and it's on fire. <laughs> oh, Oh. That's all right. You're both, uh, you're, you're both great, and uh, they cheated, but you're still, <laughs> you're both getting a 50-inch Insignia TV, all right? <laughs> Dallas Myers Club opens the beer today. We'll be right back. Wow. Yeah. You look fantastic Thanks. and somehow rested. I know that you've got a lot of things to promote. Your family is very busy right now. Our family is very busy. We're, it's a very busy couple of weeks busy at the House. Yeah. So you have two movies out. Yes. Ben has uh, the it's, number he one. He has a little movie. He has a little movie. Is it it's just like a, yeah, I mean, he does ha technically yeah. have a movie out. Right. But what one. Yeah, but I've got. Two. Two. Right. So, so you I mean, I'm sorry, yeah. whatever. Now, he seems to be doing well with that little movie. It's the number one movie in the country right now. I know. Right now. How about that? I We're know. really excited. So now, are you competitive? Are you going to try to knock him down? Well, Men, Women, and Children, the, um, this cool little movie I did with yes. Jason Reitman is open in four theaters. But yes, I mean, boy, <laughs> next weekend, whoa. It's going to be woo, yeah. bad. Those four theaters are yeah. going to take all the money. Yeah. Yeah, yeah poor it's, Gone Girl. It's going to be yeah, gone. It's a shame. Now, girl. Girl. Now, let's talk about, can we talk about Gone Girl just for a second? Because uh, sure. maybe why it's, the reason it's number one 
is he's showing uh, his, his penis. His, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think you're probably onto something, and I just, I mean, what I have to say is you're welcome. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> um, you know, I just, I try to consider myself a charitable person, uh -huh. and I wanted to give back. <laughs> you give me so much, I wanted to give something back to all of you. Uh, <laughs> we certainly appreciate uh -huh. it. I know you do. Now, Forgive me if I don't know this. Is this the first time he's been uh, frontal nude in a, a, a film? Um, outside of our... The films that you do at home. <laughs> outside yeah. of our very racy films. films. At home. Um, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, and did he, was he nervous about it? Were you nervous about it? Did you talk about it? Um, yeah, it was a discussion. It was like, hey, you know, at work today, Fincher talked me into coming out of the shower. And I was like, oh, cool. Well, I hope he had on a wide lens. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh -huh. That's... <laughs> So you, I mean, you know, yeah. if you're gonna go there, Ellen, you right. have to go all the way there. You, you can't do. ask me to talk about this right. and not just right. be ready for whatever. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> Come bring it. Okay, bring it. All right. Um, let's talk about something else controversial. Uh, let's um, do. All right. You are. Listen, I don't read the tabloids. You, I know you don't read the tabloids. We really, I, I no, avoid no, no. Them. people yeah. come up to me and tell me things, and that's mm -hmm. how I know what's going on supposedly mm -hmm. in my mm -hmm. life. Um, supposedly in your life, you have a baby bump. Uh-huh. Uh, so I guess you're pregnant again. I get congratulated all the time by people that I know, saying, I hear you're pregnant. Oh, my God. You know, this one woman who had babysat for us said, oh, my gosh, I can't wait for number four. And I thought, what is going on? So I asked around, and apparently I have a baby bump. And I am here to tell you that I do. <laughs> I do have a baby bump. I am not pregnant, <laughs> but I have had three kids and there is a bump. I will, from now on, ladies, I will have a bump and it will be my baby bump. And let's just all settle in and get used to it. It's not going anywhere. I have a bump, its name is Violet Sam Sarah. <laughs> well, but I see you guys are really eager for us to yeah, pop out another one. Four, Gosh, yeah. you're exhausting. Yeah, no. <laughs> Yeah, you take care of baby number four. Yeah, seriously. No, but you look fantastic. And it, it really is crazy that, that people are looking for something and saying you have a baby bump or it's just, it's, but anyway, thanks for clearing it up. Yes. So you mm -hmm. will have a baby it's cleared. bump forever. Yes, and, forever and ever. But not another baby. No, just a bump. Just a bump. All right, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yeah. Like a camel, but in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen Jennifer's camel lately? <laughs> Uh, all right, we'll take a break. We'll talk about uh, your, both of your movies after this. Okay, but Men, right, Women, great. and Children, uh, really interesting uh, about social media. Very yes. interesting. We'll mm -hmm. be back. Okay. That's Jennifer Garner in Men, Women, and Children. It's, um, it's, it's a daunting, it's a, it's a movie by Jason Reitman, uh, who is brilliant. Who did Juno and Up in the Air and Young Adult, and he's such a brilliant director. Yes. And so, and you've worked with him before in Juno, yes. and, and so uh, he's, it's, a, it's a great script and a, and, a, and a really interesting concept about social media, and scary. Yeah, it's just asking you to look at all the different ways that we think we're connecting with other people when really we're looking down at our phones. I mean, maybe that's a way to look. There are so many different ways to look at this film. Ultimately, it's, it's a movie, it's a piece of entertainment, it's, it's pretty fun to watch. And do your children, do they go on the internet? Do they have a computer? No, no, they're little. I mean, my oldest is eight, so no. If she wanted to see something, she would have to have a grown-up with her. And what, at what age would you let her have a phone or a computer? Like 22, 23. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seems fair. Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah. not like my character at all. You're not like your character all. at all. Watch my daughter's tweeting as she's watching this. My mom thinks I don't know. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. She's had one since she was six. Yeah. She's like, I just don't know. Yeah, she has a whole Twitter account and everything. Great. Um, but they, but but do you do like old fashioned? Do you like? Are you going to take them trick or treating? Do you? Are, is oh yeah. Halloween, is, is, you're doing things oh, like that. Oh gosh, our house is already decorated. We've got the spider webs. We've got the, you know, ghosts that we made hung up from the tree. And this year we added um, gloves to make them look like they have hands. Wow. Now, yep. do you make these things? Are you that crafty? 
Well, I don't think, they're not beautiful, but yes, we make them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we, we make them. The, the mouth is over here, there are a couple of eyes. They're scary. Right. <laughs> in a special way. Not on purpose. Yeah. And now, what will you be this year? What, will, do you dress up every year? Well, I used to dress up, but then um, I realized that I'm a grown-up and I don't have to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. And I grew some self-respect, and now <laughs> I'm dressing up as a mom. I'm going to dress up as a mama. So totally different than your everyday apparel. Yes. What kind of mama? Just, just, just a comfortable, uh, <laughs> warm mom. Okay. Uh -huh. can, can with we... pockets. <laughs> <laughs> right? A mom with pockets. Yes. I think we have that costume for you. I think that's what we thought about. Oh, really? Yep. We thought about, here's the costume right here. Oh, wow, Ellen. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. I mean... They sell this. This is, we didn't make this. This is what a mom is supposed to look like. You realize this interview has gone to a very racy place today, Ellen. It's not my fault. Well, you know what? You're not helping. All right. I did it. So here it is. This is, so this is me for Halloween kids. All right, great. <laughs> so Rick or treat. And Ben comes home. And oh, woo. Fantastic. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Yeah. Maybe there will be a baby bump for me. All right. Uh, we'll go take a break, and we'll be back, and we're going to play a game. Mm -hmm. right. We are back with the lovely Jennifer Garner, and I always love how competitive she is. We're going to play a new game. It's called Hoop Dee Doo Me. We have 45 seconds to see uh, how many balls we can get in our own hoops on our head. So you're going to try to get all as many balls as you can in your hoop. I'm going to get uh, as many as I can in mine. 45 seconds on the clock. You ready? Do you enjoy this? Are you happy? Ellen, I can't talk to you right now. OK. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then go. Six balls. You look like you have more than six. I have a lot of balls. Nine balls! Oh, no! 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 Men, men, thank you. Men, women, and children is in select theaters now. It opens nationwide on October 17th. Go see it. It's so very that, serious. Yeah, go see it. All right. Hi, Jen. So t this little girl. Sophie is from that little nugget of magic is from my hometown. Like exactly. Much, like exactly. If you'd like to meet her, I'll, I'll introduce you backstage. Oh, are you kidding? I just did. She had no, she could not have cared less. I was just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> be mine. Well, she yeah. got some dolls just now. I know. So. Yes, believe yeah. me, I'm aware. Yeah, yeah she didn't care about she me. She told me you work really hard. Uh, she told you that I work? That you were able to give her those dolls because you work really hard. Wow. Yeah. She's right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> She's right. Yeah. Um, hey, let's talk about the, uh, the situation of the Oscar. Um, oh I saw this photo, uh. and I couldn't wait to hear, because I knew you were going to be yeah. on the show, and I wanted to ask you what you were thinking. So I can't um, even look at it. I can't. It's too What are you? What's happening? What? <laughs> what is happening? No one else is upset or disturbed, but you seem. <laughs> you I, I have no control over this. Yeah. What am I doing? Yeah. I, I mean, I started getting texts, as you can imagine, yes. people saying, you know, what were you thinking? What's happening? And I try really hard not to see myself online, but it, she was a little unavoidable. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> but I have no, I you mean. You don't know. No, I regret, regret, do you, regret. But do, no, you, do you don't know what was go going on? Do you remember the moment of, like, what was happening not at all? Not even at all. We're standing. There's Christmasina. There's Nicole. I don't know. I don't know why 
what is wrong with me? I don't know. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you, but it's weird because when I don't smile, I look like I'm unhappy because just that's the way my mouth yes. is. So if I look like that, I just look like that. I'm, but you do look disturbed. I you look, look very. I just, I, just, I want to just, you know, punch her in the face. No, you no, don't want to do not that. Really, but, I don't. But, but people still. were like, you know, giving uh, captions to it, like, you know, left oven on at home stars. Yes. They're just like us. <laughs> Um, Forgot to leave the chicken out to thaw. Yeah, mm -hmm. all kinds of things. Anyway, but I just wanted to ask, but you don't know, so it doesn't no, matter. No, I wish I did. I wish yeah. I had a better story about it. It's just, I mean, it might happen any minute. I might no. just be sitting here and just be like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looking at me and going, yes. what is Ellen talking about? Exactly. Um, no, this, is this though, I have to show, because I saw this video this morning in the meeting of you. OK, so what happened at the dentist? What were you getting done? <laughs> oh, the dentist. OK, yeah. so I'm a little bit of a wuss about dental we, we all are. OK. And I had avoided doing something. And it, then all of a sudden, I had to do two things, three things. And I talked my dentist, who doesn't usually use laughing gas, into giving me laughing gas. I'm a little bit of a lightweight. And right after, I was being driven home. And my sweet assistant started videoing me, because I called my, my friend to tell her I had done it. And I was so proud of myself. Wait and, a minute. Um, before we show this, I've had the gas before because I'm a wimp also. They just switch it to oxygen and it goes away immediately. You don't have any residual. I can drive myself home. So you were just literally still the residual of laughing gas as you here? I, I think so. I don't know what else he, he, he must, gave me. I mean, you know. All right, well, everybody spicy. be the judge of this. There's okay. definitely more going on. <laughs> they did the sad part of Hamilton and I started crying. I couldn't stop. And they said, are you OK? And I said, it's so beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Listen to this song. It was so beautiful. That music was so big. <laughs> and so I told them about it. They have to see it. <laughs> well, I mean, There's more going on. There, there must be. It was a good time for everyone, as yeah. far as I can tell. But I mean, Hamilton really is that beautiful, too. Oh, because you, really, you were I was listening because I didn't want to hear the drill. Right. And I was crying, weeping during this <laughs> procedure. And he was like, are you OK? Do you remember the procedure? No, ma'am. Uh-uh. No, uh -uh. not at all. Um, all right, let's talk about the movie, because I love it so much. Oh, and it's an important movie. Um, tell everyone what it's about. This movie is called Love, Simon. It's like a John Hughes romantic comedy. We just don't see a ton of them. It happens to be a, about a young boy coming out. But it doesn't even matter about that. The, the important thing is that it's an entertaining, lovely, beautiful film. And you know, the reason that I say that it doesn't matter, because obviously it's handled really beautifully beautifully, it's the most gorgeous coming of age story, is that if you're going to have inclusion, then it has to not matter what it is. It can't be about that. It just has to be a great, entertaining movie. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And it is. Mm -hmm. It's really good. And Josh Jamel is great. You're great. Josh Jamel and that Nick Robinson. Yeah. Unbelievable. He was here the other day. And Real he's a superstar. Yeah. All the kids. They're he's fantastic. He's really sweet. A lot of yeah. people have been asking me about it. Can we, before we go to break, talk about your chickens? OK. All right. So you have chickens, <laughs> which I love that you have chickens, but you walk your chickens. I mean, yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> yep. How can you, I mean, I know that chickens follow you and they're tame and everything, because I've had chickens. Mm -hmm. But how do they just let you put a harness on it? Well, that's Regina George. And <laughs> yeah, she, she did. Yeah, she, she let me put a harness right on her. And she, she didn't walk a long way. I mean, she has to build up her stamina. Sure. Sure. But yeah, right, right there on the street. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Did she cross the road? <laughs> I mean, you can't help it, I was right? Gonna it's ask right why. there. You yeah. have to. All right. Um, we have a challenge uh, for you when we okay. come back. It's going to be like a, a game sort of thing. OK. But uh, you may not like it. But we'll be back. <laughs> We're back with Jennifer Garner. And you have your own, is this a baby food line? I'm so excited. It's a baby food, kid food um, smoothie. It's going up into kids. But right now, we are baby apples, applesauce, baby food. It's all organic. It's farm fresh. It's like you made it yourself. And we use this new technology so that it can go completely with all of its nutrients, all the fire, fiber, all the great stuff straight to the grocery store in the refrigerated section. It's not, it's because it's it's fresh. 
That's fantastic. I know. And it's and it's, it's not once upon a farm. It's not completely full, so you can add some tequila or something in there, <laughs> shake it up, and it's just it's been you know, done. But people yeah. won't judge you because you're just having baby food. You know. <laughs> We're going to put your taste buds to the test. I'm going to have you oh. taste some things. And uh, you, uh, well, let's go over here. Okay. I'll, I'll explain it to it. Mm -hmm. We have 10 dishes covered. And we're going to blindfold you. And okay. you're going to have to taste these things. Oh. And for each one that you get correct, we'll give you $1,000. Because you work with Save the Children, yes, right? Yes, I do. OK, so uh, we're going to donate 1000 to each one you get correct. Um, so it, it matters. Oh my gosh, so you gotta... that really, that's so much pressure. I oh know, my... I know, that's why we're doing it. Because okay. we love to give you pressure. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> we should have given you laughing gas for this, too. That would have been good. <laughs> oh, All right. Funny. Let's see. I'm a little bit nervous. Well, so... you should be. Yeah. All right. Now, here. Do I get to? Here, oh. Yeah, oh, nope. All right, now you're going to taste that on your own. Do you know what it is? Sweet potato. That is correct. Hold on. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Leave your hands out of it. Let me okay. do this. Oh. All right. Here it comes. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. What's that? Applesauce. That's right. All right. All righty. Here's here's the next one. Oh, hurry up. All right. Oh God. How's that? A pickle. Okay. I don't like pickles. All right. Here. All right. Here. Then take this. Yum. Oh, if you don't like pickles. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What's that? Lemonade. That's right. All right. This is the worst game I've ever played. No, it's a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fun game. What is, what is that? What is it? You don't know? Guacamole. Avocado. Yes, guacamole. <laughs> How's You're that? You're the worst. No, you are. What's that? An orange? Yes. Oh, no, that's a shame. You were just about to get some horseradish or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, we're going to round it up. It's $10,000 from Shutterfly. Oh, thank you. To save the children, and you're such a great sport. Oh Love, gosh. Simon, opens in theaters today. We'll be Yay, right back. Thank you. I mean, yeah. come on, girls. Yeah. You are all blown out and in dresses. You look like a million bucks. Ugh. Do they Amazing. feel a million bucks? Yeah. That is... <laughs> Happy Mother's Day to you, Jen. Thank you. I am so glad you're here for I'm the whole so hour. I'm so excited to be here. I am so excited to be here with all of you guys. I love, I love being a mom. I really do. It's, yeah. I really do love being a mom. And I, I can't even put it into words. I love it so much that I just, I wrote a song about it. About being a mom? Yeah, and I made a video, but you don't have to show it. It's oh, not, well, then we won't. Know. OK, yeah. OK. It's not that big a oh, deal. Oh, no, let's, you know what we, we should. Think, should we? Well, if you made it. I did make it. Well, then let's not show it. <laughs> OK. <laughs> but it was for you and for oh, you. Well, then, then, we'll, then we should see it. All okay. right. OK, let's, let's watch. Motherhood is a beautiful thing. It fills your heart with joy. And makes you want to sing But to all the pregnant ladies At the Ellen Show There's a few things That you should know Imagine squeezing something out The size of a watermelon How much pain is that? There'll be a lot of swelling And breastfeeding? It ain't simple One false move, you got a cracked nipple You'll be up all night Groggy all day, jonesing for a bottle of Chardonnay. You'll retain more water than the Hoover Dam and change enough diapers to fill a moving van. Whether you go with a doctor or a doula, it'll take weeks to heal your hoo-ha. People will keep asking when the baby's due when you'll be like, three months ago, I thought you knew. But motherhood is a beautiful thing. That really is, that was beautiful, Jen. Move Thank over you. Childish Gambino. There's a new music video in town. Now, the real reason that I'm here is that I heard that you were giving away a lot of free stuff. That, yeah, let's do it now. OK. All right. <laughs> All right, here, why don't you yeah. stand here? Yeah, I want to thank Pampers for sponsoring our Mother's Day show. 
Pampers has a new line of diapers called, and wipes, called Pampers Pure. They're made with premium cotton. <laughs> <laughs> no, no fragrance or lotion, and they come with the protection that parents trust. And my friend Chrissy Teigen is their new creative consultant for the Pampers Pure collection. Unfortunately, Chrissy couldn't be here today, but she did send a special gift for all of you. You can all get a year's supply of Pampers Pure. <laughs> Back with my co-host for the day, Jennifer Garner, who just told me that this is the safest show for her to do because she knows I can't scare her because we can't afford to scare you. So, <laughs> yeah. it's a big relief. I scare easily. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, now that I know that, the next time. Um, Great. So you have Great. three kids. I do. How old are they? Twelve, nine, six. Twelve, nine, six. Mm -hmm. So two and, girls and a boy. And Violet is twelve. Yes. And what was it like when you found out the the first time you were pregnant with Violet? I woke up Not that only morning. You only I'd... pregnant with her once, right? <laughs> yeah, just once. Yeah. I've only I've only had her once. But I woke up that morning and I just knew and I peed on the stick and it was so faint. I don't know if you guys had this that first those first few days. It's like so faint you can hardly tell. So I I was on my way to work and I called my doctor and said, Can I come in and have a proper test? And he said, Yeah, sure, come in. And he gave me one and he said, You're not I don't know, you're not pregnant. It's it's negative. And I was like, Yeah, I am. I'm telling you I am. <laughs> And so she's 12, um, <laughs> and I don't use that doctor anymore, but I do have, right, I right. Do have her, so I won. Um, so it, do, you, do you like being pregnant? Um, yeah. <laughs> yes, but every one I was more nauseous. I don't know, each kid, it was worse and worse. Really? Yeah. So you were nauseous for Violet. I was nauseous for Violet. But then with Sarah, um, with my middle daughter, I had to listen to Yo-Yo Ma at night. It got worse throughout the day. It wasn't like in the morning and then I was fine. Like as the day went on, it was worse. And I just remember for some reason, Yo-Yo Ma was the thing that got me through. And I would lie there like this, like in the bed, just kind of waiting and hoping I would fall asleep. It's crazy, right? I mean, you do crazy things. And then with the third kid, just forget it. It's like, just forget it. It was like Happy Meals and it's just gross. It's just gross what you do. Well, I mean, one of the things for me about being pregnant is first of all, you can tell the like day two. And second of all, I carried a baby in the back as much as I did in the front. So I'd always like, I'd catch myself in the mirror and be like, ah, what is that? That is so big. Oh my God, there's another thing growing back there. <laughs> You mean your butt got bigger? So, so, so big. So part so. of the baby was actually into your butt? <laughs> I think so, Ellen. Wow. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> like stretched yeah. out? Yes, yeah. I don't know where they are. I don't know. <laughs> I know nothing. So you have two girls and a boy. Yes. And uh, they're different, aren't they? They are. They're really different. Girls are smarter. <laughs> they're so different. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, um, you know, they're all, they're all pretty great. Yeah. Can't go wrong. But what's the difference in the boys and the okay, girls? Okay, well, um, I'm just learning about sports teams. I, you know, I have sisters and I had two girls, so I didn't know, I don't know about when they're supposed to audition for soccer or when they're supposed to, you know, <laughs> that stuff. I don't get that. I'm not good at it. I'm not, a, I'm learning. But then I also, um, my son, you know, he likes boy things. He likes to to make boy noises and be a boy and be, he, he likes to be a little bit gross. Like bodily function he things? He likes bodily functions, he does. He's very fond of them. Mm, I'd, I'd have him move out. <laughs> I would send him off to camp or boarding school or something until he gets a little more sophisticated and learns how to act because... Thank you so much. You should write a book. Well, thank you and maybe I will, yes. Jen. Thank yes. You. So, Nine-year-old Serafina, right? Mm -hmm. That's her name? Yes. She is talented. She's, is this, I saw a picture that she made something for you. For my birthday. She did. She has a peg loom that she got at summer camp in her bedroom. It has 12 pegs. And she makes scarves. And she, she, she made she was, that whole oh, thing? She did. She was so proud of it. She'd been working on it for weeks. And then it disappeared right before my birthday. In the morning of my birthday, she was like, Mama, it's cold outside and I have a present for you. And she said, you can wear it right now on the way to school. And I was like, great. Yeah. I will. I will. But I mean, come on. What a great, like most daughters at that age are like you're having to kind of control them from being on the internet and doing all no. kinds of things. That's really cool that no, she does that. No, they're always just a great surprise. Yeah. So 
So what is the biggest change that you, because I always like to have moms co-host with me on this day because they're, you know, I mean, I'm sure they have friends who have kids, but like, what is, what are they gonna expect to Ugh. like all of a sudden having a brand new little child? Well, here's the thing, you guys, you will get your bodies back. You will get your lives back. You can still travel. You can still have fun. You can still go back to work or not. You can breastfeed or not. You will, you know, you, you will be best friends with your kid and then someday you're gonna realize you're actually angry with them and that's okay. And you're gonna be great because it's your experience and it's your baby and it's your body and it's gonna happen the way you want it to and you're starting your families. It's gonna be beautiful. Good advice, because it is, it's, it's all different. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone has a different experience, but as long as you love that child and are there for them, that's the most important thing. That's kind of the deal. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna take a break, and uh, she's here all, uh, I was gonna say all day, but I'm leaving soon, so you don't need to stay <laughs> after I leave. No problem, so yeah, you, I've got it. Or you can stay after I leave. Yeah, we're gonna change all of this. Okay. Jen. Uh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Pickle Boy is back. We'll take a break and uh, we'll be back with Jen. Hey, Jen. Yes. You know how yes, you're Ellen. always telling me about how you do really great impressions of farm animals? No. No. I don't, I don't know that. Yeah, just go with this, okay? Okay. All okay. right. Okay. How about a pig? <laughs> how about a horse? <laughs> you're such a jerk. <laughs> me! <laughs> I like a kiss on the cat. Wait. If you're gonna I just me. learned that she can do a goat. Go ahead. Yeah. Me. It's different than me. 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 You do an even better goat. I just learned it from you. Me. What about? Me. <laughs> all right. You know what all those farm animals remind me of? A company called Once Upon a Farm. Why don't you tell everybody about them? I would them? love to. Um, Once Upon a Farm, I'm one of the co-founders, full disclosure, is an amazing company that wants every baby to have access to fresh, organic baby food. It's a whole new way of processing the baby food to keep the texture and the taste and everything intact. And it's it, because of that, it's in the refrigerator section. You won't remember this now because your brains, but <laughs> when you get there, it's in the refrigerator section of grocery stores, not in the baby food aisle across, in, across the whole country. So everything from kale to blueberries gets cold pressed to lock in the nutrients. Do you want to try one? I do. All right, see you. Okay. I'm going for um, what are you some shiny strawberry patch. All righty. Delicious. <laughs> I'm going to go for apple blueberry. Mmm. I know. Mmm. Because baby food, you open it and everyone's like, oh, that looks like baby food, like it's the grossest thing ever. Why should babies have gross food? Right. Why do we just accept that and make it good? And. They can't see it this way. They don't know what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Very clever. And you're all getting Once Upon a Farm pouches and this $250 Capital One Visa gift card. <laughs> Welcome back to our Mother's Day show. Anybody given birth yet? Anybody? Good, because right now we're about to give some more stuff away. You all know that I have a lifestyle brand. It's called Ed Ellen DeGeneres. Mm -hmm. And we have really cute apparel and footwear and pet products and bedding and furniture and so much more. She's being so modest. This, oh. this is amazing. She has an amazing collection of baby products available at Bye Bye Baby, which brings us to your next gifts. Well, every parent wants their child to be happy, healthy, and incredibly stylish. My Ed Ellen DeGeneres baby collection was made to bring love, kindness, and compassion to newborns. Here, let me swaddle you, Jen. Oh, good. <laughs> good. Mm-hmm. Yep, you got it. It's so cozy. No baby should be without kindness or swaddles and socks. And you're all getting a $300 assortment of Ed Ellen DeGeneres baby essentials. Let's move okay. over oh, here. Okay, keep going. You're such a great actress, Jen. Oh, thanks. What I'd, 
<laughs> I'd like you uh, to tell them about this next gift as if you were a really cranky toddler who missed their nap. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I wish I had a tool support crib mattress that's organic and lightweight and waterproof. Uh, uh, it's okay, it's okay. You mean like an Ed Ellen DeGeneres crib mattress by Naturepedic? No, I don't mean no, that. Yes. No. Stick, stick to the oh, Yes, I do. Yes. I do. Yes. Well, you're getting one. They're $400 and you're getting one. the bit is over, what are you still acting cranky for? Well, I mean, you give away new mattresses, but they don't have a crib to put them in. <sighs> well, do you think that they'd want a four-in-one crib that changes in size while the children grow? Yeah, you think so? Think so? Do you think that they want a crib that inspires kindness, love, and joy, and has adorable forest animal designs? Well, I mean, I would assume so. All right, good. Because you can all buy one of my cribs with a $600 Bye Bye Baby gift card. These are so beautiful. Yeah, really, they, truly, they, they are so beautiful. I love Sorry, them so very, very much. Yes. Keep talking. Okay. Well, <laughs> I guess it's time to go to break. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. No, no, not so fast, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're kidding, Ellen. You have more things to give away. Yes, I do. Uh, My Edline has something that's known for its compact size and lightness. Is this thing made in Italy? Yeah. Mm. Can, can this thing stand alone when it's folded? Mm -hmm, yeah. 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 Are they all getting a Peg Perego stroller? Yeah. Since our audience is filled with expectant new moms, we thought we'd bring out someone to share some useful information with all of you. Unfortunately, we couldn't get anybody. So <laughs> instead, please welcome our resident lifestyle expert, Kim Douglas. <laughs> What you said uh, about me. What did I say? I said, Jen, here's our, our resident expert. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I yeah. Do. yeah, no, sometimes. No, I do. I do. Right. And I've got so much fun stuff for all the. Is anyone pregnant in the audience? <laughs> okay. okay, I didn't know. I thought maybe. Well, I've got some great stuff that is going to be useful to all of you and Jen and Ellen. Who knows? You just oh. never know, right? Come on over okay. closer to camp. All right, so first mm. off, you know, you sometimes want to have the baby always super close, right, Jen? With sure, your yeah. Well, the thing is, though, is if you get to the mall or you're at the airport or whatever, you know, sometimes you need to... Mother Nature calls and sure. you need to run to the ladies room, but you don't want to leave the baby and you want to always have the baby with you. But this is called the baby keeper. Isn't that great? So all you do is you take it and you put it right here and then little Sally can just be, hi, look at me. And then you just do your stop. Mm. Isn't I'll take great? three. I know. Exactly. I mean, I, I need, you can I have all still three, use Jen. those. Great, great. All right, next up. Jen, did you use a lot of music when you were pregnant with your babies? Uh-huh. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, a lot of the women, Ellen, you like music. Yes, I do, yes, Kim. Yes, I know. So, you know, ladies, sometimes you will have to put the speakers or even like headphones on your belly for the baby to hear the music, but that can be awful because it has to go through organs and skin and tissue and stuff. So, I wanted to get you a product that will get as close to the baby as possible. <laughs> So what you want to do is you mm -hmm. hook it up to your phone, Ellen. It's got a little speaker right there. And it's just, you just put it inside and then you just put on the music. Mm -hmm. Isn't that fun, Jen? And then, uh -huh. you know, we could all be rocking out and mm -hmm. Cardi B and mm -hmm. that would be fun. Mm -hmm. Where does that go? It, it goes in very close to the baby inside. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be fun? And then you just listen, you've got the app on there and the baby has no obstruction. It just hears everything. <laughs> Isn't that good? Yeah. That was a good one. Okay, <laughs> next up. Now, Jen and I are super natural, and we don't have to do a lot of stuff, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. so <laughs> there are gals, Ellen, maybe in the audience, no judgment, that do a little extensions or maybe extra nails or something, and that's all great. But why mm -hmm. should adults have all the fun? I found hair extensions for the babies. Jen, mm -hmm. it's like mm -hmm. Jen Garner hair, it's like mm -hmm. Ellen hair, it's gorgeous. And I hired two models. Actually, they're our associate director, Ken. His wife, Jill, is here with little baby Sasha. And here is Princess with Madison. Now, Sasha told me when she goes to play dates, sometimes <laughs> she likes to feel a little curly. And then Madison and I had a chit chat. She told me she loves pink and sometimes she wants to be a brunette. <laughs> Some days she's brunette. Look at these. I mean, tell me you don't love this. This is gorgeous. And then you're feeling blonde the next day, you just put on this. Do they like them? Hi, Sasha. Look at the camera. Look at it. Oh my gosh. You, oh, and right. she took off the brunette, so she wants to be a blonde. All right. Okay. <laughs> There we go. That's Thank, great. You, Thank you, Thank you so much. You're so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, okay, so you know, you might want to get your family members involved, your, your, uh, your daddies, your partners, anybody involved with breastfeeding the baby, right? Oh. But those things can be super expensive. <laughs> Did you do that, Jen? Oh, sure. Yeah, it was yeah. super fun. But they're very expensive, and you don't always want to be finding them and paying for them. What do you so, mean get your the partner involved in breastfeeding? Yes. Oh, I'm so glad you asked. So I did a little DIY. Ellen, I <laughs> came up with this when you said you wanted me here for Mother's Day. And what you can do is, does anyone have Chinese food containers? Everyone. Ellen, yeah, and then you put your little nipples your right nipples Oh, it's there. leaking a yeah. little. And then I just tied it with a pretty satin ribbon, and then you've got it, and you have it right here, and then, Jen, could you tie yeah, it in the back? Yeah, I'd love to, gosh. And then any of your partners can get involved. <laughs> and you can just be, is Sasha in Madison here? No, oh, there we go, yeah. So, and then you could just have other, oh. your other family members sure. getting involved in the process. Mm -hmm. And I think it makes everyone feel included. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, I that's... like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, Ellen. <laughs> Ellen! What? <laughs> the baby's got it everywhere. Oh, oh my God. Oh, well. Jen, wasn't that fun? It was so fun. That was, oh, those it. were all yeah. great ideas. And Thank you, Ellen. They were... You're on to something there. Yeah. And there that's, you go. Yeah. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. that's a good idea. All right, we'll be right back. Kim Douglas. Well, we're back with the mother of all co-hosts, Jennifer Garner. And uh, Jen, what's one of the hardest parts about being a mom? Oh, gosh, worrying, sleepless nights, zero free time, all lots right, of control. Okay, okay. Um, oh, and mom guilt. I miss my kids when I'm not home. Uh, well, I, I, you know what? This next gift will help with that. It's an HD security camera that syncs to your phone so you can keep an eye on your nursery when you're away. That is right. The Netgear Arlo Pro 2 runs on rechargeable batteries, has night vision, and sends alerts when your baby moves or cries. You're all getting this Netgear monitor and a $200 Best Buy gift card. What?
up, Jen? Yeah, I was just wondering about something. Do you remember when you were little and your parents would take a ton of photos of you? They hardly took any. Okay, <laughs> well, anyway, um, <laughs> the Canon EOS M50 is lightweight and easy to use. It has fast autofocus and Bluetooth so that you can share photos and 4K videos right to your phone or tablet. This actually sounds very cool. Um, but where can I get one? Well, Best Buy, and you're all getting this Canon mirrorless camera. Forget it. Yeah. It was a great job. Yes. <laughs> You're going to love it. Oh. <laughs> hey, Ellen. What, Jen? You know how your parents just had albums and albums of photos of you from when you were little? What don't you understand? There's like <laughs> two photos of me when I was a child. Oh, right. Sorry, I forgot. Anyway, um, with Aura Frames, which, P.S., I have one and I love this thing, you can share your baby's photos instantly with your family and loved ones without using social media. I have it. It's amazing. Trust me. Uh, uh, the frame's beautifully designed, elegant, and super simple to use with their free app. They are. Then you can all buy an Aura frame with your $400 Bloomingdale's gift card. <laughs> Okay. Oh, um, one thing you need to know about motherhood is that you always have to be on your feet. Like, all the time. And you never know what's going <laughs> on. on your feet, Zappos.com has got you covered. It's an online retailer that carries brands like Cole Haan and the iconic American Lifestyle Accessories brand. Cole Haan's stylish footwear and handbags. Are you done? It's not going to Cole Haan's um, and Zappos' unbelievable customer service is perfect for mom. And now you can all shop Cole Haan now with your $500 Zappos gift card. an amazing camera earlier, but now you need a way to share your photos. Right, right. You know I love Shutterfly. They have announcements, gifts, and stationery personalized for you and your new baby. You're going to use it all the time. Hopefully your babies can read and write. <laughs> they have also, listen to this, they've also donated over $1.5 million to Baby to Baby, providing low-income children with basic necessities. <laughs> Wonderful. And now you can shop these products with your $500 Shutterfly gift card. I am so sorry, Ellen. I'm, I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just telling you I'm tired. Is it OK if I sit and relax? Just for a minute? No, we're not done yet. <sighs> Plus, these women literally won't have any time to sit and relax for another 18 years. <laughs> but guess who will be doing a lot of sitting? Oh, their kids? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. that's right. And guess where they're going to be doing a lot of their sitting? Oh, the car? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You're a great guesser. Oh, thanks. And one thing I know is safety is important, which is why the Essentials by Britax car seat delivers premium protection. The emblem convertible car seat 
works for your baby from birth up to 65 pounds. What if they're born at 65 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> well, then you need a whole different set of giveaways. All right. You're going to love your new car seat. <laughs> And finally, your kids are going to need somewhere to sit while they throw their food that you've made for them. Yes, they will, Ellen. She says, Jen says the award-winning uh -oh. OXO high chair grows with your child from six months to five years old, plus the five-point safety harness keeps your baby secure, and it's easy to clean. You're all getting this $250 OXO top sprout. <laughs> sponsoring our show today. Happy Mother's Day. Be kind to one another. Bye-bye. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm really great. How I, are you? I'm good. Hi. I just saw Jennifer backstage uh, before the show, and she didn't have any makeup on, and, and she, uh, I don't, I, you look so beautiful without makeup on. You don't need makeup. You oh. look you look no, amazing. and that's really nice of you. It's you. true. You, you said, I got to get my makeup on. I was like, no, you don't. You look oh, fantastic. that's nice. Thank you. You really do. You. And uh, how does it uh, feel to know that you have a, a star on the Walk of Fame now? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Did you find it to be crazy? Yeah, I am. Um, I'm almost embarrassed at how casual I was before the ceremony. Mm -hmm. and, and I just thought, oh, this is nice, la, la, la. And then you get there, and your family's there, and your peers are talking about you, and I was so moved. I was surprised. Yeah. Did you feel that way? Yeah, and I felt the same way as you did before. I was like, oh, that's nice, you yeah. know. But it, then you get, and, and you have a really great spot, too. You're right next to. I'm in to, front of the Hooters. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. That's fantastic. You know what I was thinking? When, when, when I first started out in New York, I was a hostess. And I feel like actors always like to have a plan B. So I just feel like if this doesn't go well, uh -huh. I can always go into the Hooters and say, I'm right outside. Yeah. So it's kind of like right. a, a little bit of a resume boost. Right. Uh, so Halloween is coming up. Are you going to go to the extreme of like things in front of your house? And yeah. You will? Yes. Yes, yeah. we will. Yeah. We usually, we, every year there's something different. I think this year we'll go back to one of our favorites, which is making, um, my children were like, Mom, they have to be environmentally sensitive. And I said, good for you. Yes, yeah. they do. But um, ghosts with fabric over them, and then you decorate the ghosts to be like members of the family. I'm sorry? <laughs> so my son will have big blue eyes, and then they'll make their dad with a lot of scruff. Uh-huh. And they'll make me with long... I see. Hair and glasses and probably a bun on my head. I and, see. Yeah. So, so look for that. That's her house. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> we give good candy bars. Yeah. Do you? Do you give yeah, good stuff out? Yeah. So, and do you dress up or are you just you at the door? Do people know there it's you? I definitely dress up. Uh -huh. um, I tried to talk my kids into all being carrots this year. I thought, wouldn't it be cool if we were a bunch of carrots? And they're just like, no, no, that's not cool. But the one year I ever won a prize in elementary school in Hall for the Halloween, costume parade, I, my mom had made me into a carrot, and I was one most original, and I still, right. I want to relive that yeah. day. Mm. <laughs> it was good. That was Would a, you be a carrot That was a me? while back, and I don't think, <laughs> we have to work harder these days. Yeah, I think there's all kinds of costumes that are better. Yeah. So let's talk about your chickens, because I, I know you have chickens, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm obsessed with the fact that, well, I want to get chickens. And some people say that it attracts uh, predators and rats and snakes and stuff like that. Have you found that your chickens have attracted things? I have not had that experience, but I also, my chicken coop is like Fort Knox. There's wire under it, there's, right. there's wire around the run, there's no... I would put wire around the chickens. I would completely, <laughs> I would put them in one of those balls that they just kind of go in. Um, no, I would have the wire under it on top yeah, too, but on it's, top, what around about the everywhere. feed that doesn't attract rats? We have not, I have not had that experience yet. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I should get chickens. You should get chickens, they're so fun. They're, yeah. they're such nice pets yeah. until they get mad at each other. Why, are they mad? Are they fighting? Well, we had a flock of seven and then Regina George, rest in peace. Um, <laughs> she, just for random reasons. Which one is Regina George? Oh, well, she wasn't there, Ellen. Oh, she was gone? She didn't. <laughs> 
she didn't make it, had, sadly, to her first birthday. Oh, that was their birthday. Oh, so she had gone to the As you can see, that's the a cake. Sky. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So, th so anyway, um, we had six chickens. We got seven new ones. Um, babies? Babies, <gasps> yeah. The day after they hatch, they come in the mail. You go to the post office, and the, you, they say, you say, I'm here to pick up chicks, and you hear in the back, peep, 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 peep. They it's, come in the mail? Yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah, there they are. Yes, that's and Hennifer. They make it through the mail? <laughs> They make it through the mail. They're happy as can be. I, oh, yeah, sure. They're, <laughs> <laughs> they're thrilled. Um, <laughs> all right, so, um, and so what, they're fighting well, they're with not the... stamped and just tossed in with the, you know, with like the express mail. They're hand carefully, everyone's excited when their baby chick's being okay. delivered. Yeah. So I feel like it's pretty good. Okay, good. Okay. Um, so wait, so the big chickens are attacking the little chicks? Unfortunately, yes. Um, Martha Stewart told me, <laughs> I just name dropped Martha Stewart. <laughs> um, but she did, she told me herself to keep them separated for as long as possible, so I did. And then the new chicks were really ready to be, I mean, I think they're thinking about laying eggs and I don't want them to be like, oh, I gotta lay an egg. Where's, where are the nests, you know? You don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we, we decided to introduce them and our Captain Hook, one of our older chickens, was not nice. And she started trying to attack and kill the new chickens, specifically Hennifer. <laughs> and so we got a small coop to but, protect the new ones. Yes. And I finally said to Captain Hook, look here, girl, you have got to shape up or it's going to be solitary isolation. Right. And they're all going to be having the run of the coop and watching you in here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And did she shape up? No. Not yet. Okay. Okay. Are you glad you asked? I am. I am. So I have two more chicken names coming up. I, I, it's going to be um, Oprah Henfrey uh -huh. and Ellen DeHeneris. Oh. Wow. Well, yeah. that's good. Yeah. From the baby chicks? Yeah. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. All right. That's adorable. Mm -hmm. And take care of them. Of course. Okay, I don't want anything to happen to... No, Captain Hook will not get a hold of yeah. Ellen. All right, good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take a break. More with Jennifer after this. We're back with Jennifer Garner. That is uh, Camping. It's on HBO. And uh, it, Lena Dunham created the yes. show, wrote uh -huh. it. Tell everyone what it's about. Okay, well, Camping. this is... Uh, Lena Dunham and Jenny Connor came... Uh, um, adapted a show from um, England by Julia Davis. And it is about four couples who go camping together. And they probably should not be spending this much time together. And my ca character, Catherine, is putting t this whole soiree together for her husband, Walt's, 45th birthday, and it's a little bit of a nightmare. Because she's a nightmare. Yeah. Just just shouldn't be camping, maybe. Maybe that was not the right maybe choice. Maybe shouldn't be allowed. Maybe she should be like the chicken in the cage. Exactly. Yes. Not, not outside yes. camping. So it is, it, you did film outside, and uh, I understand there were snakes. There were so many snakes that there's a man on set at all times who has a bucket and a grasper thing to catch rattlesnakes. Yes, my friends, yes, how, this is true. How many did he catch? Uh, I'm not sure, but it was, sometimes it was one a day, one day he caught two. It was very exciting. We spent a lot of time taking pictures of snakes in a bucket. Wow, so because they have to catch him before you shoot in that area, they're cleaning that area and making sure, right? Yes, he would sweep the area, and then sometimes, one time we were, um, we were in the middle of a scene and it was really heated, and suddenly, you know, the director is standing there and the script supervisor, and they're in the shot with us, and we kind of said, what happened? And they said, oh, we heard a rattle, so we just, <laughs> screw the take, we're in there with you. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what happens that's when you're what outside. Would that's if why you hear a rattle. And I don't want to camp because of that. That's exactly <laughs> why. Um, all right, so uh, you did this movie, Peppermint, right? Was the movie yes. you were training for? Yes. That, mm -hmm. So you got in such great shape for that. But when it, when it came out in theaters, I was told you went to the theater to go watch it? Yeah, I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but the, somebody at the studio said, wouldn't it be great if on opening weekend you went to a theater to surprise the audience at the end? And so. I wasn't really thinking, I got my kids to bed and I just said, okay, I'm supposed to do this. I was in sweats and I said, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. And I went and as I got there, I realized I don't really have a plan for this. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I can't actually face an audience. I realized once I got there, oh my gosh, watching this is making me sweat. <laughs> and so 
I, I walked up to the theater and they started walking out. I realized it and I hid in a corner like a grown up. <laughs> and I could hear these people talking about me as they went by. I heard somebody Look be at like, you hiding no, like that. that. Was her in draft day. No, I really like that movie. No, you know, and I just was like, I wanted somebody to say, just know she's right here. Be careful. She's very, you know, fragile. Fragile. Yeah. That's but fair. if they looked around, I was there. All yes. right, we have to take a break, and you're going to help us raise some money for uh, breast cancer research, I yes, understand. Yes, it's October. Yes, it is October, yes. so we're going to do that after this. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll be back. We're back with Jennifer Garner, and uh, you do this thing with your kids, which I think is great. It's yes day, so you have to say yes to whatever they ask you to do. Yes. Right. So um, what are some of the crazier things they've asked you to do? Oh my gosh, they, they like to gel my hair and make me go out in the world. They like to choose what I'm wearing. I do something with them called Coach Mom where I make them exercise and they'll do Coach Kids where they make me do like 100 burpees or something. Wow. Which is horrible, yeah. I can't even do it, but they like to just watch and 100 laugh. 100 burpees? I, I can't do it, I mean, yeah. that's an exaggeration, but yeah. they would like to believe that they could ask me to do that. All right, well, I'm gonna do this, uh, the same thing. I'm gonna ask you and you have to say yes to everything I ask you to do. Uh, for Why each do I keep coming back? That's each, just what I, I... I know. I'm just it's, wondering. It's amazing we happen? get yes, because okay. I, we, we, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. um, every, uh, everyone you say yes to ultimate will donate $5,000, so uh, we're going to see cancer. how many you'll do. For breast cancer research, so it's, right. it's worth it. It's, it's a important. worthy cause. Yes, yes, yes. You love chickens? I'd like to hear your best impression of a chicken. <laughs> Don't they sometimes just go, oh. You amaze me with your animal skills. Isn't, isn't that true? Don't they once in a while? They really do. Oh. You have, don't do it again. It's so <laughs> eerie. I know. Oh, All you right. want me over here? All right. Sorry, so, I belong Yeah, now you're going to do, I know how strong, you're going to do push-ups, and there's going to be a plate of mashed potatoes on the floor, and you're going to take a bite every time you get close to the plate. And. <laughs> So you can do like as many push-ups, at least six. She's so strong, you guys. I know she can do it. OK. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Like, yeah. I think you yeah. helped with the, you know. I think so. Oh, I'm so sore from squatting like that, though. Um, <laughs> your chin. Let's get, I want to, no, your chin here. Yep. I'll get it. All right, because this is very important that you look pretty, because I want you to take a selfie. And um, let me get on my little dot. All right. So you're going to take a selfie. I, it's in my notes. No, it's not. I looked. You, you'll see. Thanks. It's not in your nose. Look. Oh. OK. <laughs> so I want you to. Open your eyes. The <laughs> I, I, I ate some every push-up. I just want credit for the eating. Yeah, OK. You got credit. OK. All right, open your eyes as big as they can be. All right, hold the phone down lower, like uh, really low. All right, like that. Oh my God. All right, all right, like that. And then I'm definitely your... getting a job at Hooters uh, now. That's it. It's a good bra. Very supportive. All right, hold it okay. down. Hold it down. Big, yeah. And then double chin. Uh, hold it down. Yeah. Like that. All right. Like that. Lean your head forward a tiny bit. Like. Uh, <laughs> all right. But Can smile. Smile with a bit. Yeah. That's good. All right. Take it. Yeah. <laughs> Because we have to, we're going to tweet that out. I only have. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> you skipped that part when All you right. were really doing. All right. I'm just, I'm going to, uh, no, one more. I'm done with time. No, we're not. Oh, okay. come on. No, one more. Okay. You're going to take a bite of, of peanut butter, 
and then you're going to sing uh, the Jackson 5's uh, ABC, that song. All right? <laughs> ABC. <laughs> Is this do re mi? It's very deep. <laughs> <laughs> what comes next? I'm <laughs> something. One, one, two, three. Do re mi. A, B, C, maybe you and me. Oh, that, that, that's, you did it. You did it. That is $20,000 from Ulta Beauty. Camping premieres October 14th at 10 on HBO. Jennifer Garner will be back. Every year, People Magazine puts out their beautiful issue, and today we get to reveal who is on the cover. Are you ready? Yeah! Very exciting. Twitch, drum roll, please. All right, here we go. People's most beautiful person is... Jennifer Garner! I mean, I didn't know people was it. Oh, there it is. Oh, gracious. Yeah, it comes. Oh, it's so embarrassing. It, it literally isn't out on the stands yet. I think it comes I out. I haven't seen it. That's yeah. the first time I've seen it. I can't look. There at you it. are. <laughs> I can't look. It's, well, people I, is now a, a, a magazine for AARP. But <laughs> <laughs> I agree with them. You are a beautiful person inside and out. You oh, really are. Thanks, Ellen. And uh, <laughs> you are. All right, so so you couldn't tell anybody? No, nobody knows. I haven't told anyone. You guys are for the first people to know. Like, nobody. Nobody. My mom doesn't know, my sisters, my kids. No, nobody knows. Wow, well, they do now. Well, yep, P.S., yep, 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 this is happening. I think they saw you on the show with me doing our selfie, and that's where they got the idea. <laughs> I think you're right. Yeah, do you remember? Yeah. There. Yeah, that's actually, I use that as my headshot now, so yeah. they probably did see that. And right. <laughs> that's gotten me a lot, it a really... lot of work. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for that. Because you we saw Let's you in Stay uh, on there. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Zoom in. Uh, you can do anything you want now that oh, or the or can you? Do you have pressure now when you leave the house that you have to look beautiful all the time? I don't know. Do you think? Do you yeah. think I should start like really turning it up for school drop off and stuff? Yes. I think so. Yes. Yeah. Like I think I'll maybe wear some yoga pants, some leggings, and like maybe a ponytail and you know, like kind of a scrubby just woke up or uh -huh. just worked out look. Oh, that would be great. Isn't that to great? Com yeah, completely go the other way. <laughs> yeah. Instead of worrying I'll about start it. doing that yeah. instead but, but, of dressing up. But with this, just carrying it. <laughs> like just uh, whenever any, if you're at the, the dentist office or anything, you're just <laughs> flipping oh my through God. it. Do you know how many times have I been here? So many times I've even like guest hosted with you. I have never been more nervous than I am. <laughs> Today, I don't know. I guess I thought you guys would boo, or like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, you guys are expecting Kaya Gerber, and it's me, and I feel, I feel like bolting. I feel like, like what? I should go. You know what I mean? No, it's I so don't. Ridiculous. I don't. Ah, it's so silly, but it's nice. It's, Thank you. It's wonderful. Yes. And, and how long does the title last? Is it, it like Forever. a whole year? It's no, a... no. For, from now on, this is the last one they're ever doing. Oh wow. So, <laughs> So it's it's kind of just in perpetuity. Wow. Yeah. That is pressure then. It's, yeah. it's crazy. Now, what will it be like when you go to the grocery store and that is sitting next to you? Because it's right there next well, to Well, the... I've been in the grocery store magazines quite a bit in my time. Oh, so recently too, right? Yeah, sure. So, But now I'm just going to stand next to it really yeah. close and just... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Paper. No, I brought my own. Yeah. So what about the, the, the cover, the tabloid cover that said that you and Reese were uh, having babies right. or something? Right. Isn't that cute? Adorable. Isn't that amazing how we both are? No, yeah. Th just to be clear, again, I'm 47. We've wrapped it up. That's, we're, not, <laughs> we're not doing it. Reese, on the other hand, I mean, I think she might be. She's pregnant? She is definitely pregnant. She's having twins. And wow. Oh, that's so great. Yes. That's, that's great. Yes. 
I'm kidding. No. She'll kill me. No, no. I, I'm she's we're gonna, mighty. We're gonna, yes. we're gonna edit that part out yeah, when you okay, say you're good. kidding. We're gonna just let that go out <laughs> okay, there. Okay, good. Um, I saw a picture of you trying to uh, surprise your son for his birthday. Oh my gosh. It didn't work out, right? Yeah, I mean, I thought it was great. Like, I'm surprised they didn't use that as the cover. But um, my son is super into How to Train Your Dragon, and I thought I would dress up as Astrid. I mean, we made a How to Train Your Dragon cake. Like, look at that, that's toothless. And he didn't like that? He was just like, Mom! For the first time, he's always been so into it. And he's turned seven, and he's, he's so cool. And he just was like, Mom, ah! Oh, wow. Well, you're going to be busy with your uh, your responsibilities of the most beautiful. <laughs> right. I mean, what are the responsibilities? I Just this. Yeah, just... Just, <laughs> just kind of this, just you're looking at Just now that you're beautiful, it. you don't really have to do much of anything. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. And now, yeah. you know, I'm just going to wear knee socks and have my skirt hiked up. And... Uh-huh. Yeah. It's fantastic. Oh, thanks. I, it I is really nice. It, it is. really. I'm really honored and flattered. And so it was so nice of people to... Think outside the box and... What uh, are you talking about? What is wrong with you? No, I'm not trying to put myself down. I'm just saying, you know, it's just, it's sweet. <laughs> You're sweet. All right, we'll take a break uh, more with the most beautiful person uh, on the planet after this. We're back with Jennifer Garner, people's most beautiful, <laughs> and uh, on the cover it says, I'm grateful every day. And don't you think that is the most important yeah. thing is to be grateful every day? I do, and it's a funny thing because you can't teach it. You know, people say you've got to teach your kids to be grateful. I don't think you can teach kids to be I think you are grateful and they see that you see beauty, so they see beauty. Is that, you know what I mean? Like, no. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I just know that I live more and more every day in gratitude. Yes, and I think what you're saying, like, it, by example, they see yes. you and they see that, especially when you say it out loud, like, I am so grateful for this. I just think it's important. I think that's a great thing mm -hmm. to say. Mm -hmm. um, so you launched your company, Once Upon a Farm, last, a year ago? Yeah, pretty much here. On yeah. the Mother's Day show, we had all the... It's doing so well. Your company has grown so fast. I know. It's, We're in almost 10,000 stores now. Huge thanks to it's you. All, it's all uh, organic baby food. Yeah. It's, it's cold pressed. We're in the refrigerated section because baby food shouldn't be older than the baby you're feeding. Um, <laughs> and, and yeah, we are, um, it, it, their kids are loving it. Moms are loving it. Lunch boxes across the country are loving it. So we're trying to make sure that everyone has access to the best nutrition that is possible. That's fantastic. That's great. And you have, I know that you like to grow your own vegetables. Yeah. And uh, I do a segment on the show, uh, Ellen Rate My Baby, and I usually rate babies, but- uh, I recent, love when you rate babies. I, I, and I'm a professional baby <laughs> rater. Yes. Um, but I also, uh, I, I rate produce. Uh -huh. And I did one recently, and I understand you brought something for me to rate. I did, yeah. You Something you grew. Yes, I grew this. Okay, do we see it? Sure. Okay. Carrot pants. Uh, that is a carrot. Yes. Mm -hmm. I shall now rate your carrot. Um, you clearly have a very fertile garden, so that's plus eight points. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Normally eating carrots help you see, but I don't want to find out what that carrot <laughs> helps you do, so uh, that's minus one point. And I'll be honest with you, I've seen bigger, so that's uh, <laughs> it's minus three points. It's a total of four out of ten points. Okay. For your so uh, I'm going to show you why, because I had a carrot recently that I, I rated this. <laughs> <laughs> Gracious, yeah. can you show that on TV? Well, we did, and we're doing it wow. again. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. yeah, that's quite a, yeah. that deserves see, quite a rating. See how that, it's, that. There's something to that uh -huh. carrot. Well, there sure is. Yeah. It's, it's a. Uh, between those two, that's where baby carrots come from. <laughs> yeah. so. Get those guys together. Yes. Wow. All right, I'll bring it over to that's... your house. Sure. All right. Um, and you, uh, you still have chickens? I do. I still have chickens. All of them. They're still all going. They're still clucking away. Well, good. Like, yeah. What, you're waiting for them to die or something? Well, <laughs> the, next, the next bunch of chickens I get will include Ellen DeHeneris. Oh. There's Hennifer. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we just moved, so I had to move the chickens. Oh, wow. And how yep. were they with the move? You know what? They were thrilled. They loved it. They were confused about where to lay eggs in the new coop. And so it was like, 
they just were plopping eggs on the ground everywhere you looked. Wow. But they figured it out. They've got it going on. It's so on. sweet that you rode in the truck with, with well, yeah, them. Well, yeah, I didn't want them to be scared. That's sweet. All right, we're gonna um, we're gonna take a break and uh, we're gonna play a game oh. that will bring out your uh, your inner beauty. All right. <laughs> I, I bet. I yes. can't wait to see. All right. We'll be oh back. Oh my gosh. We're back with the most beautiful person on the planet, Jennifer Garner. Uh -huh. um, well, people's most beautiful. I should I should give them credit for finding you because we didn't. <laughs> they just we, discovered. We me. never noticed the beauty until people told us. Um, you've always been beautiful to me, no matter what. So I thought we'd put that to the test to play uh, speak out. So what you'll do is you'll put that there in your mouth, and uh, you're going to have to tell me some. Come on now. I got it, baby. I got. It. Uh huh. It's not hard. All right. Good. Look at, look at that beautiful mouth. Uh-huh. <laughs> I am Pico so beautiful. Uh, I understood that. OK. OK. So there are the clues right there. OK. And you will, you will uh, tell me something. And Not I a problem. Ronnie saw a beautiful duck dancing in the hills. Somebody saw a beautiful duck dancing in the hills. That's really good. Who was it? Ronnie? Donnie? Ronnie. Ronnie? Ronnie. 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 <laughs> Ronnie? No. Oh. Lonnie. Saw a beautiful rock. I got the rock. No idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Wait. It? Let me see what it was. Ro Bonnie saw a beautiful buck. A buck. Oh, bounding in the hills. Oh, none of that was right. Go okay. ahead. Oh, very close. My chickens are in my coop. No, no, we got this. OK. My chickens. Your, chickens. Your chickens. My chickens. My chickens. Rotty. What? Oh. They <laughs> <laughs> they want me. They want the day. They want me in my coop. I took a drop in my coop. Your, your, your chickens did something in a coop. Yes, they want me. Bump. From out. <laughs> Bumped? Yes. Bumped. 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 Okay. Huh? My chickens bumped me in my coop. Jennifer Garner. Jennifer Garner. Yes. Is bigger. Is bigger. Redder. Better. And redder than ever. And <laughs> redder than ever. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's it. Yes. That's all. Oh, yes. Magazine's beautiful issue is out on Friday. We'll be right back. <laughs> Jennifer Garner. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi, sorry. I was getting ready for uh, the Halloween because it's uh, so late in October. TikTok, everyone. Um, I'll get back to that in just a little bit. As I mentioned, we have a show on Ellen Tube. It's called Mom Splaining with Kristen Bell. And this season, Jennifer Garner stops by to help explain some things, too. Take a look. To all your moms out there, you doing it right? OK, let's meet our mamas. Um, I am Emily, and I'm five months pregnant. I'm Deanna, and I have a three, almost three-month-old at home. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Yes. That's, okay. real. That's real. <laughs> That's real. And I'm Megan. I have two kids, a four-year-old and a three-year-old. And Jen, how old are your kids? I have 13 and 10-year-old daughters and a seven-year-old son. Does it get easier? Like, I'm not wiping anyone anymore, and I'm not, <laughs> you know, I'm not up. I'm not, it's not like that, but then emotionally, it's more and more complicated in a great way. Right. My kids are currently four and six, and let me tell you something, they can be real dicks. <laughs> <laughs> For real. So we're here to talk about all the wonderful things when we're living in Mamaville, which is different from Margaritaville, though you will want to visit Margaritaville. They're next door. They're right next door. <laughs> so since pregnancy is the first step, let's start with Emily. I mean, mm. how are you feeling? Feeling pretty good. Uh, starting to get a little bit nervous about labor, though. I think it is the most romantic day you'll ever experience. You're a better person than I am. I was going to say, it's going to look like a homicide. Yeah, that's way more fun than you think there should be. My best advice, and I even brought an example because I knew you were pregnant, was make a birth plan. Sure. Put a lot of thought into mm -hmm. it. Take a deep breath, and then just, because it's <laughs> never going to happen like that, and so get rid of it. And that is kind of what labor is yeah. like. 
Then there are some facts, like your water will break. My water broke and I was standing in the bathroom, my first child, and I was like, honey, my water broke, I'm so excited, let's call the doctor. She gets me on the examination table. She goes, huh, so you said your water broke? And I said, yeah, definitely, it was a big splash on my bathroom floor. And she goes, okay, your water didn't break, but it's quite possible that you peed your pants. <laughs> So let's play a game called, did my water break or did I pee my pants? <laughs> I think I have, I always have, I always, yeah. Can you grab his attention real quick? Sure. Ask me if he can fill this up. Could you please fill these up with water? I'm pretty sure you know what they are. Thank you. <laughs> Cannot deny me. <laughs> what are these? Yeah, right. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. No, this is great for now. Whoa. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to stand up, put them between our knees, and we're going to have a race. Let's do it. Come on, baby. Let's do it. On your mark, that's it. Go. No. Okay, Danny, you have an almost three month old. Yes, I'm on maternity leave and I'm just trying to figure out how I get back to feeling like Deanna the person instead of Deanna the, with the newborn. So when does it get better? When do you start to feel like yourself again? It's, it's <laughs> the answer is never, you're not gonna. Because you're a different mm -hmm. self and it's important to talk to <laughs> others. Momming is hard, but it's worth it. It is. So it's totally embarrassing when I'm out and my two kids throw tantrums, what can I do to help it? Have you tried calling them by their full name? Because that's how <laughs> I knew I was in trouble. Doesn't work. Okay. You have to just be like, can you believe this little <laughs> is having a tantrum? That's, I would say that that is the mindset. But I mean, how bad are they? Like, what do your child's tantrums well, look like? It's, it's pretty bad. They're, they're 11 months apart, so. Whoa! Whoa! Megan, give me that back! I take the advice of my husband a lot because he says sometimes when they're having a tantrum, treat them like the hot girl in high school. Just ignore them and then they'll come to you. And I thought that was so silly when he said it, and then it actually works. They do like to get you worked up. Yes, yes, yes. Totally. And then they win. Yeah. And all they want to do Don't is let them win. Not let them win. Don't let them win. Don't. Like, here, watch this. I'm going to... Jen, I'm going to try to get this sugar packet from you. I'm okay. going to try to give you to give it to this, me. This, you can't... This is... But I want it. This is... But I want it. Jen's sugar packet. Jen, I want it. No, no, no. Just give me the one. I give me wish that. that could. Give it to me. Give it, it to me. Sounds like I really want it. 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 Feelings about the sugar I do. Oh. I wish I could give it to you. That would feel so good for both of us, but I can't. See, I really felt like she understood where I was coming from, but also stayed strong. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Totally. We've been watching season two of Mom's Plan, and today on Ellen Tube, we'll be right back. Our first guest is one of the most beautiful people in the world, inside and out. Please welcome my friend, Jennifer Garner. Hi, Ellen. Oh, hello, hello, everyone. It's really nice to see you. <laughs> Hi. So nice to see you. Don't let Andy uh, scare you back there. We're trying to get some money from Fritos. I can, I can, I, I can gather as much. It seems like um, he's really yeah. all in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I have a choice, Jen. <laughs> like you have a choice. Thank you, guys. Before we even no. start, thank you both for keeping us all laughing and keeping everybody just up and optimistic and and real during all of this. You all are the best. It's not easy. Thank oh, wow. you for doing Thank that. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's and uh, what Ellen said is true. You are beautiful inside and out. You are genuinely just a ray of light. So I say right back to you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You really are. Back. Thank you so much for being. Thanks for being uh, here with us today. And uh, how is the family holding up? Everyone's really good. You know, we're we're. Um, it's actually they've been great. We have our moments, of course. But I think they really get the the kind of the call to action uh, of staying put, and of um, 
you know, working hard to keep your chins up and they're cleaning the house and helping out. And um, it's been, they've been really good. What kind of cleaning? They, uh, every Sunday we do the whole house. We do every, we do, we do everything. My son, um, I finally let him do his bathroom on his own. He's the eight year old. And I walked in after and the whole bathtub was gray. And he had put so much um, bathroom, like bathtub cleaner in it, and then just filled it with water and emptied the water out. So it had coated the inside of the <laughs> tub and it took me like 20 minutes of scrubbing. So we had to take a step back and say, that was thorough. There was a lot of cleaner, but it would have eaten your skin off. So let's try again. <laughs> right, well, you know what? The good news is he's learning how to clean at an early age, and that's going to be very helpful him for him later on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this is adorable. I saw the check that he wrote you. You posted this. Please explain. This is the cutest thing I think I've ever heard of. Yep, for being my mama. Mm-hmm. Yes, this he got um, a, a checkbook, a kid's checkbook, and you know, you forget how cool it is just to get something that you're allowed to do that you see grownups doing. And so he was thrilled. He was writing checks for everything. And this was to pay me for the year, um, for the, the year of 2019. That's what I earned, $168.42. <laughs> how did he work out that number? And how is the, what's the 42 cents? I mean, what, I think that was a tip. I see. I see. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, now, I saw, first of all, how are your chickens? The chickens are, I mean, what a time to have chickens. They've been just yeah. out there laying. They just give us eggs. We have eggs out the wazoo. We give eggs to neighbors. It's, that's, <laughs> is that how they do it? I don't know, Helen. Ellen, I don't, I don't, I, all of a sudden your name is Helen. Um, Cause I have- She just uh, knows it comes out of the- But- um, She knows it comes out of the wazoo. <laughs> I go out there and I, I look at him on the nest and I kind of say, how you doing? Like, can I move you? Are you, you don't want to move them at the wrong time, you know? No. No, I understand that. Wait, can I ask a question? Yes. Don't you need roosters to put the eggs into the chicken? Like oh, oh my God, Andy. Okay, right. <laughs> that's why I only, when I, in my special, when I say I only eat eggs from chickens who don't have a husband, because the reason that I don't is because they're not fertile. You're eating eggs that are not fertilized, so it doesn't have a baby chicken Got inside. It. Okay, now I get it. Because sometimes when you eat an egg okay. that has been fertilized, and you you yeah, know that it. it's yeah, a bad okay. situation. Right. Okay. Yep. So yep. that's why if you don't have a rooster, because mm -hmm. they they lay eggs, they obviously it's just they just have. That's what they do. Yeah, right? they just lay eggs all Got the time it. anyway, but they're just not fertilized. Okay. All right. Now we've we've taught you something. Yes, we have. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Ellen. I don't know why you think that everybody needs a man. <laughs> don't you that need was... a rooster? <laughs> How do those old chickens get along without a rooster? Forget it. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about the cat in the <laughs> stroller because I think uh, this is a clever idea. I've I've had. A stroller for my older dog who has arthritis and you look like a crazy person walking a dog in a stroller but I, is this for cats this stroller oh my gosh it is um my one of my kids was not into going for walks and we just had to get out of the house and i said what can we do we gotta we have to just commit to going for walks and she said i want to take the cat so we ordered a cat stroller. I blame Jessica Seinfeld. Um, I want Jessica Seinfeld to know that I blame her because she she's like a cat lady. And all of a sudden now I have a cat and I have a cat stroller and I take it for walks and it has a leash. Wait, does your cat enjoy? I have seen cats on leashes before. You really have to train them early on because they don't really like it unless they get used to it. But does your cat enjoy the stroller? It looks a little like why am I in here? That's the face that I saw. It's a little bit like, why am I in here? But um, I think it's happy to go out and about. I mean, it's very um, titillated by the whole, uh, the adventure. I mean, look. Yeah. Yeah. It's into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Let's take a break. break. All right. We're going to take a break because Andy says so, and I like to make him think he has some kind of control. <laughs> we'll be back. From the backyard. We're back, We're back. with Jen Garner. Um, okay. I don't understand how this this kind of I don't know why I didn't know about it, but before the quarantine, you did a duet with uh, Bocelli. Now, how does this happen, and why, and how did we not know about this? I mean, is that the craziest thing? It is one. If you just said list ten the the craziest things that have happened in your life, that would be on there. Um, but yes, I think they had recorded this beautiful lullaby and they wanted a more of a mom person who was less of a singer singer and so um they came to me but then it turns out I had to really sing sing so I had months of lessons and I was so incredibly nervous I cried in the parking lot I cried while I was <laughs> while I was recording it I had to keep my eyes covered because I couldn't even deal with the fact that I was actually recording it. But um, Mr. Bocelli wasn't there, but he was in my ears in cans, you know? And so I could hear his voice and it just, it, he's so magnificent. It just kind of lifted me up and I did it. Wow, very impressive. That's, uh, I'm, I'm doing a duet with him next week, but that's incredible you did that. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, that's not true. Um, let's talk about your company, Once Upon a Farm. Um, congratulations. It gets more and more successful every single year. And now you're, yeah, it's it's doing really well. And now you're working with Save the Children uh, to, well, you have been working with them for a long time, but now more than ever, this is an important time. I'm so excited. This is such a great thing for me because obviously I've worked with Save the Children's U.S. programs, helping kids in rural America in, um, who are growing up in poverty. And it's really, that work has been all about getting off on the right foot, um, socially, emotionally, with education, early literacy, uh, early childhood, you know, all of that stuff, in school, after school programs, summer literacy. And now with this pandemic, suddenly the kids are out of school and this is where they get their food. So everything, it was just like, put the, put on the brakes. Um, we have got to find a way to make sure because there's so many great things happening. Schools are wanting to be up and running and feeding their kids. And we are, but they might not have money for the bus driver to come in early, or they might not have money for gas for the bus to take the food out way out into the hollers of West Virginia, where I'm from, or Kentucky, but also, you know, rural California or rural all over the country. So that has been exciting. And finally, Once Upon a Farm, which is a company that I'm so proud of and have been able to spend a ton of time working on, which has been great um, during this. And Once Upon a Farm is finally partnering with SAVE. And they kicked us off with like a big donation to SAVE with Stories, which is an initiative Amy Adams and I started to try to make sure that kids are being fed and educated during quarantine. And you helped us. And, and well, yes, you, you, uh, I think you asked if we would uh, help read because the kids need people to read to them. Yeah. And uh, I read my home book to them because it's never too early to start getting involved with uh, interior design and architecture. <laughs> I thought that was... Uh, that was an important. It, it was it was um, a beloved they, video, and it was incredibly. I mean, always, Ellen. I always say, if you want to start a movement, call Reese Witherspoon, and if you want to, if you want to actually make it global, call Ellen. And you guys both stepped up in such a huge way, and did as did so many other people. And Ellen, it's now Save with Stories is happening in like fifteen countries. Oh. That's yeah. fantastic. Well, good for you. Congratulations. I'm glad that, uh, I don't know if Reese had anything to do with it. It's mainly me and you, it's but, <laughs> but it's really cool that, uh, that you had Meghan Markle and, uh, and Harry, you had everybody, a, a lot of people have gotten involved. So that's really, really cool. I'm a good reader. Uh, yeah, Andy, you should you should read. No, it's for, for celeb sure. It's celebrities. You're a celebrity. Oh, come on, Please. Andy, you're a huge celebrity. We have to <laughs> we have to take a break. We're going to play a game. We're going to raise some money. We'll be back with Jen Garner. We want to help you raise some money for Save the Children. So we're going to play. Uh, it's a new game. It's called Drawer Dash. All right, here's how it works. I am going to ask you to run and bring something back. For instance, I'll say something that starts with an S. And anything that starts with an S, you bring it back within 10 seconds or less, we'll donate $1,000 to save the children. 
If I really like what you grab, I'll make it two thousand dollars. So, are you ready for your first item? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay. Bring me something that your kids made for you. Okay. Go. I got, I got that. I got that. I got it. Hang on. Eight, seven, I got it. I got it. six, scarf. five. Um, Wow, and like that. a scarf and that, uh -huh. that's adorable. I can do it That's wonderful. Okay. All right, you did it. Okay, bring me something from the drawer in your bedside table, go. <gasps> Don't go anywhere. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Just in there's time. A, there's a wow. light up alligator awesome. and these. I don't know why. Uh -huh. You have a light up alligator in your bedside table? Don't no. does it, everyone. <laughs> yeah, I guess. All right. This is a good workout. All right. Hang on. Ready? Bring me something broken. Okay. Nine, <laughs> eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, just in time. What is it? It's a, what is a door? It's a, the cat she <laughs> broke the door. Coming that's, off. And it was that's and commitment. It's like, you, wow. You broke the door just to, to be able to get oh, there in time. That's I really. I finally just took it off because it was hanging and it was making me insane. So I knew exactly. Okay. All right. Good. I'm glad we knew something was broken in your house. Bring me something that you were hoping I wouldn't ask you to bring. Oh boy. Go. Nine, eight, seven, seven six, five, four. What is that? Um, it's a- I can't see it. You can't? It's a bust. Of, it's a, oh, it's a- Of Kevin Klein um, as Cyrano. We did Cyrano together on Broadway. Okay. I, I yeah, I where was that? It was around here. Was it here in my okay. office? Next to, next to the light of the alligator. All right. All right. Ready? Oh, that's Here's a the next good one. one, though, Ellen, right? Don't you think that's like kind of flying? Yeah. It really is. It really is good. I'm not, I don't know that you would be unhappy that you'd bring it to me because I think it's impressive. All right. Bring me something you've taken from the set. Go. Oh, I got that right here. Wow. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> what is it? It's a sword, I think. What? Wow. Wow, and she's twirling it very impressively. Look at that. Electra. That, that is really impressive the way you just did that. I'm impressed by all of it, so we're going to round it up to $10,000 for Save the Children. You are terrific. I love you. A delight. A, I would call her a delight. You are a delight, a pure delight. To learn more about Once Upon a Farm and Save the Children or to make a donation, please go to our website. Jen Garner, we love you. I love you, Ellen. Thank Bye. you so much. Thank you, Jen. you guys are the best. I'm so happy Bye. to see your faces. You look beautiful. Thank, Thank you, you for so being you. here. The last time I saw you, we were Zooming with each other. Yes, and without I made... these guys. Now we have Let's people. without them. So you were in a hotel and I was making you uh, scream from your balcony or outside of your window? Yes. Yeah. Hey. Hey, do you know Ellen DeGeneres? I love her! She's coming! <laughs> She's a humanitarian! She loves animals! She's funny! She's peaceful! I freaking love her! She's hilarious! <laughs> Did you get anybody's attention? I did. Were there people? There were a couple of people out there who were like, what? You know, we're all so just like, what? They were alarmed. But you know what else you did? You made me do a tequila shot. And that's that's the only tequila shot I've ever done in my life. And I did it live on Ellen. It was, um, wait, yeah, what? Without my hands. Yep. <laughs> there that's it is. your first tequila shot ever? Yep. <laughs> For you. I cannot believe you've never done a tequila shot I was before scared. that. I didn't know what would happen. I think I just thought I would combust or something. It was fine. <laughs> <laughs>
You are, you know, I, I have to talk about you growing up. And because uh, I, I learned today when you grew up, you were not allowed to to uh, <laughs> say bodily words like we, we you couldn't, couldn't say but we couldn't say no, we couldn't say that because you, you I, I read that you couldn't swear, but I heard you said biscuit instead of butt. Yeah, the Garner girls, because we all have a biscuit on us. So we all said biscuit. Um, but is a swear word. But is a swear word at my house. Really? Uh huh. What did you call these things? <sighs> um, boobs. <laughs> <laughs> you can say boobs, but you can't say yeah, butt. Yeah, but we couldn't say bodily function words like <laughs> crap, <laughs> anything. Right. Like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you can say them on TV. You're welcome, guys. Yeah, yeah. you're welcome. <laughs> That's what happens when you repress your children. They come out <laughs> on television and say <laughs> crap. <laughs> oh, there uh, we are, the Garner girls. Yeah, we weren't allowed to have really layers in our, <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at the ears, guys. Okay, and my mom, this was a quilting phase and those were leftover scraps from the quilt she made for my bedroom and she made me a matching vest. So I matched my bed. <laughs> You matched your bed? I did. And then who's the... the is this Susanna the, is the little one. The one with the hat the big on? One. Is that yeah. a hat? <laughs> no, it's not a hat. That's her hair. She has a lot of hair. <laughs> and I, I was growing out that same haircut. It was $8 and Sandy Copeland cut our hair for Sa a lot of years. Sandy Copeland? Yep, she was, was the... Was that your the, friend? Our, I don't know. She's just who cut our hair. Well, that's quite something. Look what look what you turned out to be. That's a you're a fashionista now. But, um, that's the magic that happens backstage. It's it's every right. every day I see those people. It's a major glow up. No, no, no. You you look fantastic <laughs> all the time, and I follow you on Instagram, and you do all kinds oh, of cool Ellen. things. You also set your kitchen on fire recently. I didn't actually set it on fire. I just I might have put my kitchen in. Peril. There was. <laughs> what What are you making right there? Just are you just like making fire? What were you making? I was. Oh my gosh! It does look quite like something now that you show it. I was making. It was Christmas Eve, and I was making a beef bourguignon, and it is. I'm sorry. Beef bourguignon. Mm hmm And I, boof, and it was um, Ina Garten's recipe from Barefoot in Paris. She has two beef bourguignon, but I would recommend Barefoot in Paris. And um, well. I doubled it, and I had doubled it before, but I'd never doubled the alcohol all at once. What kind of alcohol is it? It's cognac. Uh huh. It's flammable. Yeah. <laughs> and how did you? What happened? I mean, you, so like you can't even get near that to put it out. Well, I was prepared to do something. What did you do? I stood and made a face. <laughs> that was that was number one. But I was I I grabbed the lid. I was ready to put the lid on top, and if that didn't work, why I was gonna. Use baking powder, soda. Does, I ha, I, I'm sure baking there, soda or powder? What is it? Because I need to know. I what, would have what, used both. Does that Ellen. put a fire out? I'm not sure, but that was my next move. And then I'm sure there was a fire extinguisher somewhere in the house. I mean, come on. I would have found one. Well, they're supposed to be in the kitchen. That's, I'm sure that's, there was. That's where you keep a fire extinguisher. Certainly I do, and, then. Well, then you should know where it is. <laughs> for, for I you. will let you know. Yeah. But, um, and by the way, may I say, when I'm saying how good you look, uh, I know that you're turning 50 and you're embracing it. You like it, which I like. Oh, thanks. You sure like it? Yeah, I am. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, right? Why not? I'm, I, it's suddenly, I don't know why I feel surprised that I'm suddenly turning 50, but I do have this sense of like, what the heck? It's really here. And uh, I don't know. I like the idea that, Wait a minute, all of a sudden I'm feeling like I'm allowing myself to believe that I know what I know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's I empowering. Mean, yes, I mean, I think we all, when we get to a certain milestone, we get to a certain age, we're like, how did that happen? Because yeah. when we were kids, we all looked at that like, oh my God, that's old. Oh, and then no, you, when you're grandma. that age, you're like, oh, it's actually not, and I'm yeah. here already. Mm -hmm. Yes, Andy, just tell me. Is baking powder highly flammable? Okay, baking okay. powder is highly flammable. So. <laughs> Anybody out there that's listening to this woman, um, <laughs> do not put baking powder. I wonder if baking soda is the same. It is not. Oh, so no, baking soda. Soda safe. Baking soda is safe. Hi. Baking powder is highly flammable. Hi. Come to dinner, guys. Please. <laughs> I'd love to have you. Okay. <laughs> All right. More with Jennifer after this. So good. At Jennifer Garner.
You guys, when I tell you that this movie, The Atom Project, is a must-see for everyone, it's coming out on Netflix when? March 11th. Oh, it is, it is, it's it, like... Can you stand it? I, it's like the E.T. of our generation. I am so excited for people to get to see it. It is just a good movie. Ryan Reynolds is the most charming, adorable man on the planet, in my opinion. He is just, I, I love him. But but you're fantastic in it, and Walker and Mar who- and, and Mark Ruffalo. And Mark Ruffalo, and, but Walker, who plays- Walker Scobell. Guys, this is Walker Scobell's first movie. First, and first acting job, first from acting what I heard. Job, and he is, he steals the show, and he had all of these parents on set from the director, Sean Levy, all of us have kids. He's the only kid on set. We were all doting on this kid. I mean, I think he must have gone home like, where did all those people go? Yeah, I got it uh, ahead of time. T Ted sent it to me and I just was, he said, wait till you see this movie. And I've been telling everybody about it. I'm, I'm glad, so March 11th it comes out. It's it's so good, it's got everything in it. And and you're a fan, it, it, the whole thing is good. Thank you. Um, Once Upon a Farm, let's talk about Once how- Once Upon a Farm, Once Upon a Farm great. is killing your it. Your company. You such a huge help, thank you, yes. So we're this, um, oh there, there are our immunity blends, our kind of advanced nutrition to really help kids and grownups and babies, anyone really just fight sniffle season or any reason. They are delicious. Do you see that cherry deliciousness over there and the dragon fruit, yum. But then we also have something that I know you will love, which is we have a, um, we've partnered with Save the Children, which you know I've worked for for 14 years and we are committed to serving kids in rural America a million meals by the end of the year, 2024. <laughs> so we are super, super excited. So. Um, that is like, it's a tiny company, but everyone there is so mission driven and so mission led. And we're so happy that kids and moms are really connecting with us and trust our brand. So Congratulations on all the success. It's great. All right, we have to take a break. We'll be back, show some of our favorite moments with Jen. We'll be back. All right, we're back with Jennifer Garner. And uh, you were here my first season. You've been a lot of fun on the show. We thought we would uh, have you just, uh, let's open the curtains. Are there, are there curtains back there? No. Oh, there are now. <laughs> Oh my gosh, can you believe you guys? It's really coming to an end. I got so emotional, Ellen, coming in today. Yeah, I'm starting to get emotional too. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, we've only got like about uh, like 30 something more shows. So wow. we're, we're really can all- Can I just say thank you? Thanks for being a break from the news. Yeah. Thanks for the generosity and the joy and reminding people that they can just be kind, just that you can just be kind. You don't need a reason. You can just do it. Thank just you. Just pick someone up and make their day better. Thank you. Well, that's what I hope the show is. I hope, uh, you know, there's, it's, it's a tough world out there and, and uh, it's, it's, it's important um, for us all to uh, acknowledge what's going on and try to do our best to help what's going on and then sometimes we need a break and we just need to laugh and that's what this show is. This is what to a make legacy. everybody. You know, it's huge. Yeah. Thank you. Um, and thank okay. you. Mm -hmm for being you. All right, so uh, now that the curtains are open and there's, uh, so w what's gonna happen is uh, you're gonna hit the button, it's gonna stop on a certain number and then we'll see what that memory is. It's, it, this is all technology, the futurist predicted this. <laughs> what's that? <laughs> oh, I stop it? Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, number two, let's see what that is. All right, open your eyes as big as they can be. All right, oh hold the phone down lower, like uh, really low. All right, like that. Oh my God. All right, all right, like that. And then I'm definitely make your... getting a job at Hooters uh, now. Oh. <laughs> it's a good bra, that's it, it's, it's, it's a good bra. All right, so, yep. That was uh, that was your t your selfie that I was helping you to. Um... Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're yeah, such a pretty so pretty girl, and I like to help <laughs> out. Uh, okay. Oh, stop it again. All right. Let's see. With oh five. This is. Uh... You know how once you have kids, you never pee by yourself again. They're always at least one of them is always in there with you at all times. So uh, <laughs> the other day, I had on a dress, and my daughter was in there with me, and all of a sudden. She went, Mom, we have to have a talk. Oh, and I, she's five and three quarters. Uh -huh. And I said, what is going on? And she said, Mom, your bottom has gotten so big <laughs> that your panties don't even begin to cover it. 
And I said, it's called a thong. You wear it when you're a grown up. And she was like, oh, and it's so gross. So. <laughs> so oh my gosh, that is a walk down memory lane. A long time ago. All right, let's hear the beeps and boops again. Let's do it. All right, number one. I can't believe I'm controlling time. You are, you're controlling it. Let's see what it is. All righty, here's, here's the next one. Uh, hurry up. All right. Oh, God. How's that? A pickle. Okay. I don't like pickles. All right, here. All right, here, then take this. No. Oh, if you don't like pickles. <laughs> What's that? What's that? Lemonade. That's right. All right. This is the worst game I've ever played. No, it's a fun <laughs> game. <laughs> it's a fun game. What is what is that? What is that? You don't know? Guacamole? Avocado? Yes, guacamole. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't giving you much time. <laughs> you weren't really digesting. You have a real big yeah. sister quality yeah. about you. Yeah. You know? <laughs> You're just like, here, yeah, I here. Know. I know. That's sort of how I am. Yeah. There's a reason for all that stuff because you helped us raise like $50,000 for like. Oh, good. Yeah. We don't just make you look silly for, for no reason. There's always, there's money involved. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Yeah, All right, do we, have, what, do we have time for one more? One more, okay. All right, let's see what this is. How about a pig? <laughs> How about a horse? <laughs> You're such a jerk. <laughs> Me! <laughs> I like a kiss on the cat. If you're gonna I just learned that she can do a goat. Go ahead. Yeah. May. It's different than May. 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 You can do an even better goat. I just learned it from you. <laughs> what about? <laughs> All right. I love you. You're you're a good friend. You're you're, you're the sweetest person. Thank you for you being too, such a, a, a great addition to every time you're here. I have fun. So thank you. Me so much. too. Thank you so much. This right. really feels like home. And right. thank you for that. Well, and all of you. Thank, thank you. So all much. of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Watch the Adam. The, the Adam Project. The Adam Project. It's available on Netflix starting February uh, this Friday. And uh, and once upon a farm. Go to our website to learn more about that. We'll be back.